I forgot to pull the snowball out. Uh, snowball is here. Sorry. Sorry, that's on me. My bad. I have to fix a couple settings and whatnot as far as, like, my tracking shit goes. Uh, when I stare, like, straight up at my, uh, my camera here, you see my head's, like, kind of slanted. So, I need, like, a new stand or something for my phone is what I need. Uh, that's what I really need. But, uh, that's all in due time. I'll figure all that out, so. So, yeah. Here. Look who it is! It is Celeste BT. I would never guess. But good morning, Compass! How are you? Did you get things uh, situated with your landlord, I hope? Sorry, I've texted Kate at the same time at the moment, so. But, anyways, we are going to be starting. Uh, it's I. You see? Who the hell's that guy? I guess a fucking nobody around here. Um, Anyways, <laughs> I got some coffee with me, so thank you for the hydrate, Compass. A very good morning to you too, AMT. I hope your day has been going fantastic. Hopefully your holiday stream has been going well. So, uh, I will allow that, no worries. But your landlord's still being a scumbag still? That is horrible. I'm so sorry to hear you, goddammit. Oh, that's fucking horrible. But yeah. Um, originally, I thought we were supposed to get our holo stream stuff all g kicked off today, but I guess it's tomorrow. Like, Barry and I, like, Barry's been so busy lately, so I can't blame her uh, for, like, not having shit straight. But, um, yeah. So, today, I'm starting at Resident Evil 7, and I'm hopefully going to finish it one stream. That's my goal. I'm going to push through finishing it one stream. Later tonight, around, uh, I want to say about six hours time, roughly, we have a collab we're doing. I will not be streaming my end of the collab, but we will be raiding into who it is that is streaming it. And we're going to be playing some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, it's actually Fat Bear Week, is what it is. So, we're doing, uh, we're supporting a Fat Bear Charity Week, and, uh, we're going to be playing some... Mario Kart 8 to help celebrate that, so. But yeah, for my end here, we'll play some Resident Evil 7, and uh, possibly some 8 next, probably. So, yeah. Making Hobbiter of Vodka for the end of the Hollow Stream. Wait, what? I need details on this. How do you even make Hobbiter of Vodka? What? What even is that? Is this Azure Clip gonna play? It should play. It should play. Why is it not playing? It should be playing! Why isn't it playing? Well, well, empty. All right, let me see here. Let me see if it does this. Um, hang on. I think I broke it. Did you see those gummy bears in stream last night? I did not. I did not. I actually, I wasn't feeling well yesterday, which is why um, I, if some of you know. Um, I have a second channel. I will shout it out real quick. Um, I see built different. <laughs> so, let's see here. Different. There you go. So that's my secondary channel, if you do want to check me out or whatnot. It's uh, a channel I'm going to do, like, basically mainly speedrunning stuff, any other shenanigans I decide to. It's basically just a channel, if I decide, I, for whatever reason, if it's like 8 o'clock at night and I want to stream, uh, that's the channel I'm going to do it on. So this way, like, you know, we keep this one on a regular basis, regular schedule and all that, and that's my other channel. Well, yesterday I was supposed to stream on that channel for the Stuart Little 2 race. Unfortunately, your boy left work early because he wasn't feeling good. Uh, came home, took like a three-hour nap. Uh, kind of stayed up a little bit after that. And then I decided to take another nap. It was like 7 o'clock last night. I took another nap. And uh, I slept 11 hours. I slept all the way until 6 o'clock this morning, and uh, I feel really good. I feel refreshed. So it was a much-needed nap, but my point is, I never got around to, like, streaming on that channel because I wasn't feeling good. So I, I do apologize for that. Some of you were expecting a stream there. But I almost went out this morning to do a Spyro speedrun, but instead I was, like, tweaking other stuff and uh, working on things. But yeah. Put them on vodka and leave them alone for a week to make the vodka flavored? Ooh. You lurked on my world record? I did. I did. I was lurking your stream, I just wasn't watching, because, um, like I said, I passed out. <laughs> I fucking passed out. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, I won't be honest, the reason why I haven't started the game yet is because of the fact that this song is a fucking banger! Oh my god, I love some Darude Sandstorm. Um, anyways, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> enough of that, I'm getting the game fired up now. So, yes, I have played this game, uh, I, I was in La La Band, yep, actually La La Band, uh, the new band just came out recently, and, uh, I'm one of the lead singers, and, uh, yeah, it's a pretty banger song, I'm telling you. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Land. 
Icy lit. Oh, yeah, yeah. La la <laughs> All right, so because we're getting ready to meet a new family and everything, and we're getting ready to see our, our life and stuff, I feel like it's only appropriate that uh, I wear the suit today for today's stream. As per usual, if I have to tweak audio or anything, please do let me know. I know this is probably a bit loud. I'm actually going to turn the filters down. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Uh, hopefully, it should be better. Because I know this game does get a bit loud, and I know it might be a little hard to hear me, things like that, so... Yes, I will be playing this through keyboard and mouse as well, but, um, yeah, it's been a hot minute to play this, for real. I thought about, um, it's like, actually, if I, uh, no, don't, don't do this anyway. If I actually click load game here, you can see, uh, last time I played this, I played it once in 2022, then I actually played it last year as well. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know I played this last year. Well, uh, now we know. I'm not terrified you are. This is good. Okay. Audio is good, thank you. I did uh, adjust my filter anyway, just because. Um, I could go on Madhouse, I thought about it, but I'm like, eh, I think we'll do normal. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do normal difficulty. Audio fire? Oh shit, it's burning down. That's it, it's over. Hey, baby. Hey, what's up, I Mia? What up, girl? A quick hello, and I love you. Oh, I, I love you too, but unfortunately, I think I found somebody better. Listen, it's not you, it's me. I'm sorry. Sorry, baby. There's just, uh, there's just somebody better out there for I me. Wait um, anyways. To be done with this babysitting job. Oh yeah, babysitting? Psh, kids, am I right? But that's still well, that's all about you. Sorry. I miss you. Oh, I gotta get back to work. All right, get back to work. All right, bye. Uh huh. Yep. Well, I love you too. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Guys, how am I gonna bring it to Mia? Bye, baby. I found somebody better. I don't know how I'm gonna bring this to her. Uh, my name's not Ethan, thank you. I you were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have- You lied to me?! Oh, this bitch. This bitch! She's gonna get it now. She's gonna get it now. Lying to me like that. Stay away. Nah, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat some sense into her. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was actually just a joke. What a fibber. So this has been a game that's less has been waiting for me to play and all this other good oh. stuff, so... Hey, get in line, lady! Yourself. We all missed Icy more than you! Right. It's not calling Icy right. Ethan! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead, she's alive. She, she's, she's back. back. They found her? How? What happened? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. She's so back, like for real though, actually. For real. Actually, funny enough, ironically enough, now I think about it, they never actually show a clip or anything showing that Mia said for Ethan to pick her up. You know what I'm saying? Because like you had that intro film, it's like she, oh, she's doing a babysitting job or whatever. And then you had Mia's part. But then he, Ethan mentions that she's alive and tells him to pick her up. It's there's nowhere in the game at all that it really does that. Uh, I think I answered my sister. Just a tad. Just a tad. Oh God. That's better. Yeah, it's better. Nice. All right. Yeah, it's better. All right, we're in Dolby, Louisiana. You know, this is a bit far away from the North Pole, but that's okay. The Arctic. It seems a little warm here. Uh, anybody got some water? Get a little dehydrated already. He just work out brain cell, much like Leon. He thought he heard it. <laughs> oh, my objective is to uh, go find Mia. Uh, can I find water first, please? Something to hydrate me? It's fucking hot as hell out here. I'm a polar bear, damn it. Where's the ice caps? Where's the glacier mountains? Where's the air conditioning? I'm just saying, why would you rattle a gate when you see there's clearly a chain on it? Oh god, I hate Ethan. Alright, that makes sense that nobody answers, but you know. The, the chain though! Why? <laughs> I got some coffee here. Doing great. 
Shift the rod. Tell me the rod. Mm -hmm. Just uh, go into somebody's random car and uh, take a look in here. So we got sewer gators. Project proposal. Sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. Join us. Guys, you think I'd be a great sewer gator? What if aren't sewer gators? I see it's not built for this environment. Don't expect a miracle. This is this is true. This is true, actually. Celeste, this is a question for you. You think Wadi is part of the sewer gators? You think she could be? I don't know. I feel like Wadi has a good shot at this. You know? Be part of the sewer gators? I mean, she's a crocodile after all. She's our favorite crocodile. I think Wadi could do it. I think she pulled off. Accept your gift! Whose gift? You think she is? Oh, shit. See, I feel what's built in Wadi. <sighs> Yeah, bugs. I hate bugs. I don't know about you guys. I fucking despise them. Even though they're like innocent and harmless, it's just I look at a bug and I freak out because I don't know what it could do to me. It could kill me for all I know. Excuse me, sir! Sir? Sir? Damn. Sewer Gator activity. <laughs> She's an honorable member of the Sewer Gators. Damn. I'm actually gonna have to like reach out to her about this. Tell her how she feels about uh, the spooky haunted places. Well, you just got a man over here walking in the wilderness, not even paying attention to the surroundings. It's crazy. Why did the crows run at you? That's my question. What even is this? Got a fine pair of legs! Those are legs, right? Not just crazy. These look like legs. Look at how, look how thick them legs are! Mm -hmm. Thank you for hydrating the posture check. How you doing, Alice? Good to see you. And thank you for the head bats as well. I appreciate it. Listen, I think I know a guy that might need some legs. I'm just saying. Just saying. Uh, anyways. Thank you for the head bats for Snowball as well. I appreciate it. We're doing a semi speed run in this game, so we're gonna finish this in one stream. Because uh, I'm a fucking gamer. This game is so good, though. Like, if you've never experienced this game or seen it, um, you're in for a treat. That's all I'm saying. You're in for a treat. It's got a lot of spooky factors and spooky scares, but it's such a good game, too. Uh, I remember when this game first came out, I was a fucking baby. <laughs> I was the baby of this game. Um, I would not, I didn't. I never actually played through this game until after I finished Resident Evil 8. That's how scared I was in this game. <laughs> and I bought it, like, when it first came out. Uh... How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? It's good to see you. All right, we got an email from uh, Mia. Dolly Louisiana Baker from come get me. That's what it is. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I, remember, I mentioned at the beginning they never told us anything about a video or anything. They did. They did. That's because it was just an email from Mia. That's all it is. They only sent you the email. 2017, July 18th at 11:04. Lonnie's a surrogator. <laughs> Send this to Lonnie. I will. You might have to remind me, but I will. <laughs> I had a different time, babe. Must get ready for work. I hope my power comes back out soon. I hope so too, Kate. I hope so too. Good, right? Just took a nap and woke up with some food. Hell yeah. We love a good nap like that. Hell yes. Alright, Mia's driver's license. It's from Texas. From Texas. No, I think I mentioned this last time, too. It was like, oh, they never actually mentioned the fact that Mia was, like, sent an email to Ethan Theater every day. And then we come across that, like, you look at your inventory, and it's just an email from Mia. And I'm like, well, call me a fucking liar. <laughs> I always forget about this. <laughs> I always forget about this, I tell you. Hey, so, uh, space looks a little beat up. You think we should really be here? You think we should really be here? Wait, wait. Wait, I want to check this email one more time. I know I keep going back to it, but... Baker Farm. How does Ethan know where the Baker Farm is? Alright, Dolby, Louisiana. Don't get me wrong. You know, we could look that up. Where's Dolby, Louisiana? Got it. Baker Farm. I'm just saying. Hear me out. And this is minor spoiler for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. You're going to see it here in a little bit anyway. Uh, the sewer gators are here, obviously. The sewer gators went missing. How does a, a Google search or something tell you that the Baker Farm is likely haunted and abandoned or something? How does that not tell you that? 
But me as over here sending you an email to like, oh, I'm at the Baker Farm, go get me. It's like, how do you put these, how do you not put the pieces together? Just, just how? boggles my mind now because you would think like coming up to this point everything's just all abandoned and everything the door closed it's locked oh no damn Ooh. it's locked chat I'm locked in spoopy that's what i'm saying you know i'm just saying like ethan should have a little more common sense than that you know you, you look at the Baker Farm. I don't think it's gonna like tell you like, oh, this is the address of the Baker Farm. No, it's gonna tell you you're gonna see top stories from the Baker Farm and shit recently. That's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see everything that's been going on. You don't just get an address right away. Why don't you not like do your research first? Kick it down. This is fair. This is fair. All right, cat, let's lock. I know that much. All right, what's for dinner? <laughs> Oh god, I, I forgot about the one on you! Oh yeah, I forgot, um, just a little warning, uh, the, the next, uh, little bit here, it's gonna be a little graphic uh, events and whatnot, so if you are in the process of eating, and you have, like, a, a very unsettling stomach and whatnot, this part might not be for you. Just give it, like, ten minutes and we'll be past it, but, yeah. <laughs> Ethan's brain is moldy, uh, don't be mean to him, this is, this is true. This is true. Hey, you might wanna, wanna crow? Anybody hungry? <laughs> What's in the fridge? God, everything's just like all moldy and rotted. Uh, don't have a key for that. Oh, what's this? Alright, um, uh, I could have the same first if I wanted. Could say if I wanted. By the way, I have beat the game on Madhouse difficulty before, so no worries about that. It's not like it's, uh, ooh, derelict house footage. So, but yeah, uh, yeah, right here, actually. Right here. I beat it last year within five and a half hours. Uh, actually, two years ago, I should say. Not last year. God damn. That was a time ago, I tell you. <laughs> But basically, a uh, big difference with Madhouse difficulty is, is like, whenever you go to save, you can't actually save right away. It's actually similar to Resident Evil 1 and 2. Uh, I think 3, even. I don't remember if 3 does it or not. Where you have to get the ribbon tapes first. So you have to have the ribbon first before you're able to save. So you basically get, like, limited save time. Uh, luckily, uh, when you know this game, like, the back of your hand, that doesn't really affect you as much. But, uh, for those who don't know it like that, um, yeah. <laughs> I will say we're probably past like a lot of the graphic part, so we're good there. For now. It was just. Uh, I mean, personally, I would look at this picture, but like, it kind of looks like Mia, doesn't it? Or like. Hi, Ray. How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. This here is a picture of a guy with a body on the floor. Um, I think I would be a little concerned, I won't lie. Listen, and as I mentioned before, when I was uh, watching the intro video, listen, I kind of found somebody else, all right? I don't know why I'm here trying to look for Mia, but I found somebody better, I'm sorry. I kind of moved on already, personally, but yeah, that's just me. Unfortunately, uh, it closes, of course. <laughs> Got a nice little jail cell. Place, I tell you. Looks like the owners. And then this here is like technically, um, you would know uh, that's that, that's something there, but they want you to watch the footage here. And yeah. That piano closed on me like that. I would have dipped. That's just me though. Exactly. Like for real. I'm just saying. Clancy Jobs. That's who I am. Right Who? <gasps> oh, he scared you find me. This guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. 
Let me say, uh, I know there's something around here. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. The fuck you saying about me? I hear you talking shit over there. You got something to say? Say to my face. Inside first, then we shoot the intro, just like we always do. Just try to see the show's name. Look around, Bobby. A browser. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shit. Stop. Browser. Now, generally there is something like back here at the beginning. I forget where it is though. I forget what it is and where it is. Oh well. Don't mind the Spotify thing. I really gotta fix that, but yeah, that's just me. Alright, gents, we going in? Is that the plan? Are we rolling? Uh yeah, we're Let's rolling. <clears throat> hey, put a little more oomph into it! Get out of the way. Yeah, show them how it's done. It's locked. Was locked. After you. Well, thank you. Hey, you said after me! So, Asshole. Why are we in hell this time? God, where's your manners? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Take a look and find out. Is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. Uh huh. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Three years? Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. What is this? So, uh, he'll go. Uh, it's a yucky food! The, the Bakers, Jack and Marguerite Baker. They were quiet. Not Nothing back. there. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I shouldn't have worn my good shoes. You're going to a haunted place. Why would you wear your good shoes? I'm just saying. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Hey, yeah, I think it looks Andre? pretty good. Yeah. Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Um, I did not. I'm, I'm busy exploring and looking around. No crow in there this time. So actually, the secret with this locked drawer, and uh, Celeste, I know you did this in your playthrough as well. The reason why I was looking back towards the beginning, um, when you start up this VHS footage, there is, um, I forget where it is exactly. There's a key actually back there, or a lockpick, one or two. And you're supposed to use that to be able to open this up. And inside here is actually one of those coins that you get. So... It's not too important, but it is like when you're trying to like 100% the game or whatever. So, go sight of it, are you? Yeah, it, it's something that's not obvious. I never knew about that until actually I looked it up. So, because, yeah. the last time I worked with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go. So you're actually supposed to open it up in the past here, and then once you uh, open it up here in this VHS footage, um, it actually opens up in Ethan's life. So. Checking upstairs. Shut up there. You think you're here? Hey, did you find Andre yet? What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? No, I'm kind of deaf. Okay, now I did. Andre? Where the fuck is he? I remember this part like creeped me out so fucking much for the first time through. <laughs> Andre, where are you, man? So let's, see, let's make a note. When did this game come out? Because I'm just saying. I, I, I'm labeling this for a point. Is what I'm saying. When this game first came out, and I tried to play it. For one, I made the mistake of trying to play this in VR for the first time. And for two, I never even made it past the cop. That's how badly hell? scared I was in this game. So, 2017 he came out. 2017. You fucking kidding me. It Why wasn't until you? about two or three years ago when I finally fully played this through show. this. Like 2020, 2021 is when I fully played it. Um, and that was after Resident Evil 8. Because I was a baby trying to go through this. <laughs> 
I was scared shitless. <laughs> hey, is Andre down there? Do you know? You first. Ah, Icarus! How you doing? Coming down the ladder. So, uh, it's good to see you. How you been, buddy? All right, I guess I'll go up first. Hey, hold my camera, please. Do you want to hold my camera? Dude, take the fucking camera! Oh my god, fuck this guy, I swear. Yeah, Andre! Andre, you down here? Careful, Celesta! 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 What do you see? What is it? I see a ladder right now, I can't really turn because I have to hold a fucking camera! Hello? Andre? Andre, hey, you coming down? Been forever, but okay, just job sucks. How are you? I am I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Andre, is it you? Andre? Hey, hey, I got a guy down here. I think it's Andre. I forget names. I'm kind of blocked. Hey, hey uh, my name's Clancy. Are, are you Andre? See, I wonder how his like face got like that. That's fucked. That is fucked. Anyways, but yes, it has been forever, Icarus. What have you been up to lately? That's my question. I've been wanting to like reach Jesus. out, but I've been so busy. Thank you for the headbands as well. <laughs> Obviously, we go Jesus. Alright, time to go down this uh, very stable ladder uh, to accept my own fate, too. <sighs> you have a Discord, also been not up. Uh, not been up the much, just game and DD at work. Hey, I feel that, though. I feel that. Hey, guys, I think the ladder's broke. Damn it. I think the ladder's kind of broke, I won't lie. I do want to see something. I do have those VHS still. It says June 1st on the label. Uh, did anybody remember uh, what year it was? Because I'm trying to remember how long ago like that footage was compared to this. Because this email was sent in 2017. So we can assume it's like 2017 when we start going here. So about how long did it take for this ladder to like rot even more from where it is? Is what my question is. It's just my thoughts. So. Need to start streaming again since I got my model and stuff finally working and I feel for tracking, but yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I'm glad your model got better, honestly. I hope it's better at least. I, I have to like touch up mine a little more and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of tracking details I gotta go into. Chat, I'm telling you now, I was very terrified of this section. I still kinda am, I won't lie. Uh, going through the water, like you can't even see what's in the water here. It's very disgusting. And anything can just come out and attack you from this water. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate sections like these in video games. I, I got scared. I got scared. I, I forgot that happens. I, I got scared. I got scared. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fucking wimp. I got scared. <laughs> so you either save up or see if I can do a payment plan for someone to read my rigging, but yeah. I completely agree. Hey, there's a light! Hey, at least I got proper plumbing down here. It's the bright side. Yeah. Bright side. What's this? Ben is dead. Harold's turned. Arthur's turned. Thank you for the headbands for Snowball. Tamara is turned. Craig's dead. Layla's dead. Sean's dead. William's dead. Travis is turned. Peter's dead. Andre's dead. Clancy. L. What does that mean? Uh, Mia. No label. I can headband the little guy? Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> Heidi is turned. Clyde's dead. Lindsay. 
Dean's uh, turn, Steven's turn, Nathan dead, Edward dead, Nadine dead, Alex dead, Tom dead, Reed turned, <gasps> Susan turned, Joseph dead, David is dead. What was the name of the other guy? So we knew we had Clancy, we had Andre, and then who was the other guy? Was his name Peter? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what his name was. Either way, he's not important. I mean, he, he talks shit about my boy Clancy anyway, he's not important. So. L? What about the L, Celesto? Does it mean something or something like that? I mean, it seems suspici suspicious, you know. It's just an L. For a loser! Oh, God, I'm good! Oh! <laughs> uh, anyways. Mia? Mia. Yeah, he claims he's actually a loser, you know. Imagine dropping a camera for Super Gators. You know, Wani, if Wani was there, it would have gone so much better. So much more comedy, so much more entertainment. Wani should have been there. You know, they picked the wrong person for Super Gators. Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? <laughs> you Ethan? shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. Hey, what's no, an email? No, I wouldn't. Did I? It's a fun game. It is valid. It really is. How you doing, Did buddy? It's good to see you. you. Did he see you? Did he see you? I have Who no idea. You? Who the fuck is he? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Oh, Daddy's Daddy? right we here. Need to we go now. Uh, anyways. Anyways. You're more welcome to play a clip if you'd like to see If you guys don't know, Valen is a fellow polar bear and whatnot. Mainly streams in the German time zone. Things like that. Currently getting in the process of getting over bronchitis and getting back into streaming stuff. And uh, does a lot of D&D content. So. I haven't found anyone else. Yeah. Oh, there's Tangy. Hey, I was just say variety hey, content hey, too. Hello. But D&D &D is the main so thing West. along with the uh, other big things. I don't know where Pond's at. I don't smell what? him. Uh -huh. what? <laughs> 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 what the heck? What the hell? I tried to smell Pond. the stinky fox. <laughs> oh shit, that's the wrong button! <laughs> Is that she got sick? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But yes, uh, Valen was recently just yesterday playing the Anthology Collection, if you're unfamiliar with those games. If you know the game Until Dawn, and, uh, the series just like that, the Anthology Collection is from the makers of Until Dawn. He was uh, recently just playing a de The Devil and Me. Or The Devil and I, or something like that. So, these games are, uh, they're horror games typically, but they're also pick a path, and they are multiplayer as well, and they are something I do want to play in the future. But, uh, it's really exciting. <laughs> and with the new re-release of Until Dawn, it just definitely makes me want to play it more, for sure. You know. Yo, maybe I gotta talk Celeste into doing this, you know? I feel like we'd have a blast. You know, pick a back games and shit like that. Be great. Um, anyways! <laughs> oh, it kept crashing on you? Oh shit. Man. Man. Hey, yo. What? Well, I'm just being honest. I feel like it'd be great. I'm down for anything. No talking needed. Hell yeah! We'll discuss that stream then. Somebody <laughs> got you. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? You wanna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Yeah, yeah, like look at this email. Mia, look it. Look at the email! Look at it! Mia! Mia, why are you walking away? I'm trying to show you the email you sent me! Was this you or not? Oh my Jesus. Calm the fuck down, you're so jittery. What? What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. I do want to mention, the Dark Anthology games are like, they're really good. I haven't played them, but I, I want to. It's and it's one of those games that I, I want to play with somebody when I do, because like... I mean, solo and multiplayer is kind of different from each other, because like, different events that have scenarios can happen and stuff. But it is like, pick a bat, it's a lot of fun. And there's like, so many games in the series. It, it just kind of like, goes in order, so. You're good, but also bookie as hell. This is true. This is true. <laughs> like, I was playing Man of Medan on my console Mia, uh, a long have time to talk. ago. That message you sent. And look, now it's time to torture myself, aka play Tarkov. Oh, me. God. Brother, this I guy did. stinks! Okay, fine. Just tell Enjoy me Tarkov. I'm telling you. Don't lose too many brain cells. That's all I can say. But thank you so much for the lurk as well. I appreciate it. We have it. to go this way. Because I played the clip just said it was cool. Yeah, I missed that message. My bad. Yes, um, I haven't set up the base where the, the clips kind of slide in and stuff uh, through my bot. So I set it up all yeah. accordingly, and it's a fantastic. Are you sure you know where you're going? Family used to I also fixed my alerts, here. finally. Because uh, last stream, I was having issues with that. 
I figured out what the issue was, but it's kind of stupid and uh, weird how it works. <laughs> but I fixed that at least. That's good. <laughs> There. It's there. It's there? What's here? Daddy, are you here? This I'm kind of hungry. Did you make breakfast? Daddy! I remember this room. You remember this room? I don't. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Where is it? E-001. It's, it's gone! It's an old lady. Oh, we're gonna be a family. Now that you're here. Mia, yeah, you good, door. baby? I'm sure of it. Listen, I told you. All right, yeah, maybe it's good we sit down and have a talk, okay? Listen, it's not you, it's me. I found somebody else, it's okay. Mia. We gotta get out of here. I know we gotta get out of here, but, but we're not gonna here, be a family, right? okay? That's all I'm trying to say. We around. can't be a family anymore. Sorry. Mia, Mia, look at me. It's gonna be okay. I'll get you out of here somehow in some way, but I can't promise to be a family after. Mia. Right, I think she needs a minute. She's uh she's having a rough time taking it, dude. Yeah, you you still good? Alright, yeah, she's alright. What's this? It's a doll? It's a little girl. That's such a cute doll though. I love the detail on this doll. It's <laughs> Mia! Mia? Alright, Chad, we gotta put the clues together. She was just right here. What could have happened? Where could she have gone? She could only go this way. There's a wall here. We can't go through there. She can only go that way. I right, gotta backtrack. No, I'm kidding. I fucking can't. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Listen, Ethan may only have a dumb brain cell, but I'm not that I'm not Ethan here. That's not creepy at all. Hello? Somebody cracked the door open for me? New phone, who this? How many times have you heard that? Every time you watch somebody play this, how, how many times have you heard somebody say that? New phone, who this? <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> the guest house map, alright. This sucks. That's a first aid. Yeah. I'm really hooking up here. Nothing in the bathtub. Take a nice shit, you know? Get back to business, huh? Two <laughs> fucking tits. Hey, who's knocking? Who's knocking? And listen, I closed that door for a reason. Listen, it's open. You don't have to knock so much. It's open. God, fucking, fucking kids these days. Hello? Hello? Mia, Mia, this ain't a fucking time for jokes, all right? Look at your face. Oh, she's got some strength. She's got some strength. That's a knife. <laughs> I won't let you have your way. Oh. Listen, this is about the new family. Listen, I'm sorry. You've been gone for three years, Mia. You've been gone for three years. You don't get it. You wouldn't understand. Listen, I had to move on eventually. I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get out! Small paper guy. Leave me alone! I've been back. I deserve this. Yeah, knock yourself out, Mia. What the fuck are you, Mia? 
Anyways, I'm uh, just gonna kinda kind of patch up my wounds here, put a little rubbing alcohol on there. You know, we're all good. It's all good. Hey, Mia! Mia, baby, you good? Oh, yeah, she's taking a good snooze. Is she even breathing? Are you sure she doesn't need CPR or something? She's not even breathing. Uh, anyway, it's gotta close the drawers. Don't want her getting dread on. I think this is the part where I'm supposed to walk in the bathroom. Alright, time to get washed up real quick. Hey, Mia, I'm gonna use potty real quick, alright? If you need me, holler, baby. Alright, chat. Alright, anyways, uh, I'll do a side. Hey, it might stink a little in there. I wouldn't go in there. Tiny <laughs> spank guns. Oh, well, hi, Mia. Yeah, that's my hand. Ouch. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yes! Alright, that's it. We're doing this. We're doing this. You bring me to it. That's the core strain for real, you know? Yeah! Give me a right hook! Uh. Hey, I think you missed. Uh. I'm just saying though, once again, chat. You 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 knocked an axe into her shoulder. This isn't going through her heart. This isn't going anywhere, like, really vital. It's in her fucking shoulder. And she just drops. <sighs> now, don't get me wrong. Like, yes, yeah, she is going to be bleeding out a lot, of course. Yes, that is correct. But it could still be patched, in a sense. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like it just doesn't make sense to me. She just passes out like that. I don't know. Hold on, I'll be right there. Checking out the office real quick. I see him here attacking his wife. Hey, listen. I had to move on her, right? And she's not taking it too well. This is self-defense, Valen. You don't understand. You don't understand. Just say This is this is self-defense. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic. Go there. Now. All right, well, let me let me let Mia know real quick. Hey, hey Mia, Mia, baby, we're going to the attic. All right, Mia, Mia. Well, the axe is still here. She's gone though. Nah, she might uh, might have went to the restroom. Got some bandages or something. Hey, Mia, you ain't here, baby. <clears throat> Mia. Oh, she's not here. She's on her way to the attic. Well, yeah, door's open. Oh, yeah, she's definitely on her way to the attic. It's all right. Everything's all good. No worries. Hey, Mia! <sighs> ah, she's on her way. I swear. <sighs> Mia, baby, you here? Everything's okay. I believe in Madhouse difficulty as well, you had to, like, uh, be able to, uh, if you died, you, like, you had to, like, reload or something, I believe. Unless it's just in general. I'm just remembering wrong. I don't remember. But still. Guys, I, I really don't know where Mia went. This is sad. This is sad. Saddest day of my life. It's alright, though. Alright, maybe she's finally accepting things and uh, she's moving on finally. Like she should have been the first place. Anyways. <gasps> listen. Uh, listen, I got in touch with my lawyer. Um, we got the divorce papers. Um, they're currently being filed. 
It's, it's just been a happy process, you know, when somebody's missing and you're trying to get a divorce, uh, they can't really stick up for themselves during the divorce. So it's a process, I'm telling you. It's hard. It's hard enough life. The worst part is, I know there's a jump scare coming in, I keep forgetting when it is. <laughs> this is why I'm like so on edge at the moment. <laughs> it's like, fuck, I know it's coming, but I don't remember where. <laughs> Ah, there you are! It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know hey, baby, you, uh, you got a deep cut me. there. You want some meds? I got some first aid. You shouldn't have done that! It baby, listen, we can talk about this! Oh, God, my hand! Oh, God! Why did you put a screwdriver in? Why is this thing stuck in there so good? <laughs> Baby, where'd you get that chainsaw? Listen, didn't did, 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 did Danny tell you you're supposed to keep this shit outside? Oh god! I'm glad you think it's funny! Alright, so I'm missing a hand. It's fine. I see, I think she likes you, you know, it's part of the thing stands too, AMT. Hey, you might want to, like, check out my hand, though. Like, yo. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that detail on that. Look at that! You can see, like, exactly where it's, like, sliced off at and everything. Man. Fucking crazy. Look at that detail. Yeah. Who needs a left hand, anyway? Yeah, I'm actually right-handed. You're actually right. You're actually right, Alan. All lefties are <laughs> it's it right to do. <laughs> You're still all right. <laughs> That's what you did there. All right. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, meanwhile, we're just missing our left hand here. Uh, currently bleeding out of our left hand on top of that. And here we are just still walking. Like, we're not even, like, rip a piece of clothing, try to patch it up or anything. We're just like, eh, it's just fine. We're good. We'll be all right, probably. You know, just, just a left hand. Who needs it anyway, all right? Okay, fine. All right, we got the gun. No more stranger pets. I got some handgun ammo. I just love how, like, at this point, Mia's just gone again. We don't even know where she is. We're just like, all right, fine. This bitch comes at us again. We got a gun ready this time. My leader's gonna have a fun time with this one. And then how did she just get outside like this? Is my question, you know? Crazy. Oh, Jesus. Shuka maneuver. They're relying on me. Everyone is relying on me. Everyone. Love you. Mia, I love you too, baby. But listen, I told you. It's so sorry. I put it that way. It's over. I shouldn't have healed there, but I always get my crouch button and my heal button mixed up. I do it every fucking time. I'm crying. Anyways, it's a nice chainsaw, though. Nice chainsaw. Unfortunately, we can't get up this way. So that's sad. Welcome to the family, son. Hey, Mia. Just like that. Welcome to Resident Evil 7. <laughs> uh, 
And he died. The end. You would think. You would think, honestly. Get hit like that? Like, fuck. For real, though. <laughs> Typical Tuesday in glass, though. Right, for real. Come on. Don't you die on us now. <laughs> you have work to do. <laughs> Somebody stapled our hand back together. Shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pause this here. Uh, as soon as I'm able to. Alright, here we go. So, uh, two things. First of all, we do have to run a quick ad break. Three minutes worth of ads are ran every hour to help see more pre-rolls for any bitches coming in. This way, we can all enjoy the content together. If you don't want ads, of course, you're more welcome to subscribe. It helps support the channel. Get Switch Turbo, which is uh, probably the better option as well, and uh, things like that. Um, I got to fix this as well. Thank you for the blocky model. So here I am, little Minecraft me. <laughs> Little Minecraft me. But yes, we run up three minutes of ads every hour and whatnot to help stable pre rolls and things like that so nobody misses any sort of content. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is uh, if you are very weak stomach and whatnot and uh, very, you know, appreciate gory stuff and things like that, this part is not for you. Um, I would say give it about five minutes after the ads are done and uh, you can probably look back if you just want to listen and whatnot. But this part is uh, very graphic um, and very gory stuff that might not be suitable for some. So I just want to mention that. But otherwise, I will see y'all on the flip side as I proceed to die. Ha <laughs> You see that? <laughs> Magic! <laughs> otherwise, for those of you who are on sub, we're just gonna sit here and vibe right now and uh, kind of enjoy ourselves, I'd say. So, yes. I gotta watch this clip this, uh, this lesson sent me to. See here. <laughs> and that's getting sent to, to Wadi now. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> How's everybody's day been? How's your Sunday's been? What's everybody been up to? Tomorrow, we have some exciting content coming up, of course. Uh, I'm really excited. So, I can't really reveal anything, but Barry and I have a load of bad things planned, and uh, we're really excited. So, we is truly excited to dive into it. Uh, bring a ping dead. I got pinged on a server. I hate that. When you get pinged on a server and you just don't know which one it is, well, it's horrible. TP will be ordered in six hours. Hell yeah. Let's go, EMT. I was just saying, you haven't ordered it yet? I thought you were waiting on it to like, get delivered or something. Man, that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> Thank you for the pins last I appreciate it. Waiting on payday? That is completely fair. It's completely fair. <laughs> I want to say, like, this is just another thing as well. This is why I enjoy playing these sort of games first before I stream them. Because you guys, like, something like this whole gory content coming up, this is something I can get the warning of ahead of time. Like, it sucks that I'm not getting first-time reaction, of course, but being able to know, like, what parts people might not enjoy are coming up is, uh, it's a big thing for me, at least. So, September is funny, my Glasgow trip for food to drink-wise? Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We're so back. Superstar. Welcome back for the ads, everybody. Once again, thank you, Celeste, for the pin as well. Once again, um, just uh, just a couple minutes and whatnot. Because I have played this game before, of course, and I was just mentioning the fact this is why I do enjoy playing some games like these first, and so I understand when this content comes up, because I know it's not suitable for all audiences. So, 
it is nice to get that little uh, brief heads up. It sucks that I'm not getting first time reaction because I've already played it, but um, I'd rather look out for you guys and something like that personally. Oh my! So here we go. What the hell? You're just so jittery over there. It's time for supper. Why are you throw shit at me? Are you people? Where's Stop Mia? it! Eat it. It's probably too screwed for PTSD. Real though, actually. No hit him. <laughs> yes. Oh God! <laughs> Again, what? <laughs> Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Come here, boy. I had pop tarts this morning. I'm not hungry. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, get out of here, Margaret. <laughs> Feast. Oh god! I'm large again! Hang on a second. <laughs> Let me fix myself. Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, that button. That button should do it. Come on! There we go. <laughs> Alright, we good. good. I gotta, like, oh, really boy. set that up better. But we'll, do it. we'll figure it out eventually. Oh god, here it comes! God, it looks painful, I'm just saying. <laughs> Look at him, he's got a big grin on his face. Hell yeah, Bob, she's doing it, you're doing the thing! Hell yeah! Oh, I bet it's that cop again. God damn, damn pigs. pigs. <laughs> I'm coming back for you. Come back for me? Are you? <sighs> hey, why don't you say anything, Granny? <laughs> Throwing your children in the crotch. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, that's horrible. I gotta find a mouse. Okay. Go. I gotta get out of this. Alright, anyways. Alright, time to rock myself back and forth! Woo! <laughs> Guys, gotta left hand again. Left handed again! We're, we're so back! Alright, Granny, you got anything to say? Oh, she just straight up napping. You know, it's supposed to be a special feast. We got Granny over here napping, but you're bitching at me for not eating my food. Man, get the fuck off, I tell you. That's disgusting. Just gonna close that. Ah, I guess damage. It's locked! Although, we do have a boot. Is that all this is? It's just a boot? Could have sort of said a name on it or something. Oh, there it is. Evelyn. That's all it says. It just says Evelyn on it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a herb here. Nice. Chat, do you call it herb or herb? That's my question. What, what do you call it? Nico's hardware. Saw, $24.99 times one. Rope, $34.79 times four. $19.99 for a pet collar. Well, there is some kinky shit here. Um, anyways, that's leather, leather is kids, so that's what's got desserts. <laughs> that's fucked up, AMC. Herb? Man, you're cringe. I'm kidding. Uh, back in the day, before I started streaming and stuff, and I had my little friend group, I had a friend of mine who I was in high school with. He used to get so fucking agitated when I called it herb. Like, instead of calling it herb like that, I used to call it herb. <laughs> I used to always say herb. He was like, it's pronounced herb. And like, he got so fucking mad at me. So I used to do it on purpose just to trigger him. <laughs> 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 it was great. It's a great time, I'm telling you. Uh, don't have anything to put on there. Got some handgun ammo, but no gun. Three missing during your urbex trip. State authorities are asking for help locating three men who went missing during their travels to Dolby Parish for New Orleans on the 9th of this month. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walken, Andre Sticklin, and Clancy Jarvis. The three produced videos from the internet and traveled to Dolby to shoot footage for their latest production. The videos consist mostly of the group exploring abandoned buildings and haunted houses. You mind if I tell you uh, something good happened recently? Hell yeah! You're always welcome to Compass! What happened? What happened? Give me the good news. So chat, uh, anybody who has uh, obviously been here, 
this is the part I speak of that I got up to before I stopped playing it back in 2017. And once again, I stand by what I said. I played this in VR first time. PlayStation VR is what I played it on. I got up to this part, and I wussed out after that because I thought the game was too scary. You hit 100 last night? Hell yeah, Compass! Let's go! Yo, it's so exciting, honestly. I'm so happy for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, 100 is a big milestone. I'm just saying. Just saying. Yes, I'm proud of you too. Hi, Jack. Hi. Jack. Oh, you're ready for this. I think saw me. The hatch key. Hi, Jack. Slip out before dinner was done? No! Ah, uh, Jack, why? Oh, you fucker! Chad, I think I actually boned myself here. I don't think I can actually get through. <laughs> Do I have any heals? I don't have any heals. Oh shit. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Jack, no, please. Jack, no, please. Please, oh god. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, whoops. Alright, this is over. I'm gonna trigger him this time. I'm gonna trigger him. That's what you're supposed to do, so. Hi, Jack! Hi there, buddy! <laughs> yes. Yes, I did, actually. That part always gives me so much anxiety. That, that's probably one of the worst parts of the game for me. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. As I usually mention, uh, this is... Even though I know some of the jump scares are coming, I always forget like when they are and what happens and things like that. Um, it's, it really catches me off guard. Because, you know, you're anticipating that they're coming, but you don't know when. And it just hits you. So we got the anti cloy, that's good. Here I am pressing the wrong button to crouch. Got the save here. Got the main house map, let's go. Got me in a lockpick. Yeah, Celeste, I don't know if that message is still pinned or not, but we, we can take it off now. We're good. We really stink! Yeah, they don't know how to do laundry around here, apparently. Um, yeah, I can open this up. Grab fluid and herb. Um, uh, what to combine? Got you, thank you. Thank you. So, um, I do have these different items and whatnot because of the fact that I have beat the game, uh, on the hardest difficulty and all that. Basically, um, I'll go ahead and run through what these are, honestly. 
So this is a pistol that you get. It's a very powerful pistol. It really helps you. Secrets of Defense, as long as you have this in your inventory, um, you take less damage when you're guarding. Because you still take damage when you're guarding, but you don't, obviously. Uh, infinite ammo, obviously it's self-explanatory. I get infinite ammo for whatever weapon I'm using. We have the walking shoes. So it actually increases my walking speed, so I walk faster, but it does not affect running. Uh, the Essence of Darkness. Uh, des darkness? The Essence of Defense. It's a it's the same as the Seekers of Defense. If you hold both of these, uh, it helps reduce your damage regarding once again. Your Circular Saw is basically your melee weapon, so instead of having to use a knife the whole time, you can actually use a Circular Saw. And then X-Ray Glasses is, um, you have these things known as, um, I forget what they're called. It's not Xanax, I don't think. But it's something similar. Basically, these are, um, it just permanently has that ability. Pretty much is what that is. And what it basically allows you to do is, like, you always see the location of where things are, um, hidden that stuff. But yeah, I won't be using any of those, obviously, because of the, sa the sake of the, the playthrough and the, the vanilla experience. But I do want to mention, like, I do have all this, so... <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I mean, after my weekend was basically ruined. Oh, I completely agree, honestly. <laughs> I completely agree. I'm so happy for you, too. Uh, I do have to put my antique point in here before I forget, actually. Um, I'm going to keep that... Go ahead and keep the lockpick for now, honestly. We'll go ahead and uh, save here. I'm locked in. The phone is ringing! You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? And what the fuck are these? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Interesting. Hell All right, so it was up to this point, literally. This point here is when I stopped playing. That was like a very long time ago once again. So otherwise we got a picture. It's all scrubbed out. Bull. We got, you don't know him, but you get the feeling, uh, something, he's an asshole. Lucas, February 2013. It's Lucas. This is, is that crazy husband and wife from before? It looks so young and happy. You can try again, you got this. <laughs> Jack and Margaret's 25th wedding anniversary. Yeah, well, once again, Compass, I have beaten this game already before. But I'm saying, like, back in 2017 when I first played this, before Z8 was a thing, uh, this was a part that I just, like, I gave up, uh, because I was just too scared. Because I was playing in VR. Like, even on just regular vanilla, I still, like, quit. Uh, the bobbleheads are also collectibles and whatnot, um, there's a whole lot of those. But yeah. But all those different items I have is for beating the game at Madhouse, doing, like, the different achievements and stuff like that, um, they give me that stuff. Open so. up! Hey! Hey, you! Granny's gone! Hey, did you see Granny come through here? Officer? Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? I do not fucking live me, here. Me, no. No. <laughs> All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. I calm down. Yeah, calm down, You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had Let's several... Let's try VR version again. Call. Beat it. And I can't rule out that an outsider like... I mean, I probably could, honestly, if I wanted to. I just wrong. don't want to hook up my VR right, right now, because I gotta clean up I'll my tell you whatever again, you want. Because it looks like right. shit. Now that's more like... Now, but, uh, Alien Isolation is another game I'm supposed to play in we'll VR to. today. Haven't gotten around wait, to. Wait, you gotta give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look, officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? Save my life. A fucking pocket knife? Take it. That's all, all you're gonna, gonna get. Do. Now go. Garage. Now. Hell. What am I gonna do with a knife? What am I gonna do with a knife? <clears throat> it's me, I go, Nemo.
I just a heads up, this part gets a little bit gory. Hey, we gotta but, get the uh, fuck out of here. Now, first, so, you need that to was tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe so me. I'm so try. Hey, put that, uh, door, put that door back up. Wait! Uh, uh, Alright, the gorgeous. <laughs> has come back to watch Icy shit his pants. <laughs> what up, Retro? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Love that. Jack, how you still alive? Oh, boy. Now look what you've done, motherfucker. Oh, God. He's gotta be dead now, right, chat? Right, he's dead now? He ain't no living that. Can I close the car door? I cannot. Same. Uh, get the first shape dead, you know? Just basically, the easiest way to take Jack down here is, uh, you can use the gun, of course, you can use a knife, or you can use the car. Uh, if you use the car, you do have to be cautious and whatnot. I actually used to heal when I didn't want to, because I hit the wrong button. Uh, because Jack can pull you out of the car and, like, use it against you, so... But yeah, just that. Right! See, look at, look at, he's all burned up, <laughs> fucking dead. How does that belly get up? He's not dead! Attention, boy. You're about to see some more. Oh, fuck! I right, now he's gotta be dead. I'm just saying, his body, like his arms, aren't even falling. His arms are just still sitting there, which is hilarious. I ain't saying nothing. I mean, I'm not either, so. <laughs> Shotgun shells. I know, but I ain't saying nothing. I mean, I know too, no worries. Yeah, we gonna take that. Tired for remake the knife stronger in this one? Like, are you two remake on PC? Honestly, I don't think so, but I'm not sure. That's the first time I've heard of something like that. I don't lie. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow! What's my daughter said? It's good to see you. I only called you out on this one because I know you. <laughs> 
Look who it is! Yeah, look who it is. Guys, this is Arson. He's a he's a programmer that's been helping me with Dark and Pogo stuff, and uh, it's been a blast. So I appreciate him. Uh, I'm gonna put the shotgun shells away. Uh, we need that. I want to put the cap blue away for now. Uh, I think we can keep rusting up for now. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I think I'm gonna put the first shape away. Uh, I don't think I need it right now. I'll, I'll play a little cocky here. I don't think I need it right now. Uh, we'll let's save. So let's let's go. Go. Get some work on documentation today to hopefully make it a bit easier to use my code. Hell yeah! Is that what you pinged on the Discord? Because uh, I saw there was a ping there. I was like, what's that about? <laughs> right, let's look at the bobblehead. Let's go. Shoot me! Anyways, it's like how I set up a project, etc. Oh, that's gonna help tremendously for real. Thank goodness. I gotta get back to work on Pac-Man World 2, but I've been like putting it off because I've been doing other stuff, <laughs> which ain't a big deal, but you know. Who's ringing? Who's ringing? Saving my phone, what are you calling? Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he used to be. He, he's a he's <laughs> dead now. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. I'll be in touch. We need the three heads! Can't hang out for a long, but saw you were online, so I dropped a, the follow and say hi. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, please do take care of yourself, your own needs, of course, things like that. I do appreciate you coming in. Once again. Over 20 missing in two years, Captain Howell from State Police told reporters they had started the search for Helen Midkiff, a college student from North Carolina who was traveling to Louisiana. Miss Midkiff hasn't been heard since the night of the 21st. Reports of missing persons in South Louisiana have increased dramatically in the past two years. The majority of those missing are tourists and vagrants. At least 20 people are thought to have gone missing so far. Police suspect foul play and believe there may be a connection between the incidents. Plans are in place to step up local interrogations and increase personnel to further investigations. Alyssa Ashcroft, January 19th, 2016. Still living to this day. From what we know of our sources. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, well, now that I have the clock found I can actually go back this way. Is that the herb here? Oh, yeah, because I died before. Because I, I died when I grabbed the other one. That would uh, respawn. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I was like, man, what's that doing there? Crazy. Alright, give me the head. I don't really need to save, but I am going to come in here to drop this off. Drop this drop that off, drop that off. We'll keep our pistol ammo. Alyssa Ashcroft. What about Alyssa Ashcroft? Is that like an actual reporter for like Resident Evil games or something? Or am I just like dumb? Like overthinking shit? I was like, I heard something. I was like, is that a bobblehead? Uh, obviously you can't go in there yet. Shh. Can't do anything with this yet, but is there anything over here? She was in the Operate games? Oh, that's probably wise. I actually never played the Operate games. Never played them. But that's good to know. I've only played, like, the mainline games. That's mainly what I played. Um... Ooh, we got a picture. Some girl. Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. Hey, look how young she is. Still haven't seen her, though. Hey, what up, Granny? Yo, is Evelyn the grandbaby of yours or something? No? Alright, well. You don't talk much, do you? Just look her, huh? Listen, I'm not trying to trash the place or anything, but uh, it is nice meeting you. 
Thank you for dinner, by the way. I'm not too hungry, though, but it was, uh, it was good. I hope you enjoyed your nap during dinner. Anyways. Maybe it's daddy's hobby. Played football. Could be. Could be, could be. I know there's something that way, I'm pretty sure. I always hated this bar, too, because, like, the, the tight corridors here. Like, whenever you have to go around, like, a blind corner, I hate it. I hate it, I tell ya. <laughs> She's one of the survivors of the Raccoon City Outbreak. Her character ability was lockpicking. Ah, that's good to know. Yeah, the more you know. Alright, another T coin. Hit the bobblehead. Margaret, move that piece of shit hippie we caught for the hall to the processing area. Piece of shit hippie. I know they ain't talking about me. <laughs> Anyways. Got the blue dog's head. Grab that tape in a moment. October 2nd. Reports say a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. Guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. October 9th. The water has finally receded. The house is alright, but the old house is badly damaged. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better report it to the parish. Go check it out tomorrow. A huge ship? The fuck? Mia! Yeah. Did they make a portal on Mia or something? That's a hell of a fucking wild. Why they recorded my girl? Well, it's just my ex girl, you know. We're, we're getting that divorce and all that. Um, anyways. It's a shotgun in the other room. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna watch this video of Mia. Mia Winters, old house. Ethan, please watch this. Alright, this is more recent. Yeah, July 19, 2017. Ethan, if you find this. I know I can't expect anything from you. Not after what happened. After what I did. But I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are! You gave us quite a scare, young lady. Margaret, no! I can't let her catch me again. This way. This house has seen more than you can imagine. She's coming just Me, I gotta play with Ethan. We're gonna divorce. What do you mean? Oh, 
Where will they kid? I honestly forgot where to go. I won't lie. <laughs> Still one part of it, just like, oh shit, where do I go? I forgot. <laughs> it's always like this we part too. We open our hearts. And what do you do? Um. Am I supposed to do this? I thought I was supposed to do this later. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Uh, I've been horrible at these. For sure. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel! Uh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Do it again. I never knew. What's up? I did it! This part's always so terrible. <laughs> she loves you. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. You. You! All you have to do is accept her fucking gift! We love you! Why can't you see that? Uh, embrace us! There we go. This is the end of it. Pick no, this. no, 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 no! You don't fucking try to take your share of the blame. There's no way out of there, Missy. Ah! Who's this? Chad is getting darker. Oh, oh, oh. Say noise. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, I love it. Ah! Now, once again, the one question I stand by, again, how did the VHS clip end up here? What this what is... Do to I, I don't know. That's just my question. How did the, the clip end up there? Which he was all the way in a whole different place. Uh, yeah, that's a that piece of shit hippie we're talking about. <clears throat> First aid man. Uh, might as well use a lock right here, why not? Let's close on chips. Granny? That, that could be a valid reason, yeah. Yeah, I think that could be a valid reason. Hi, Sucrose, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Spooky game? Yes, yes it is. Okay, do be spooky. It do be and it can't be spooky. Um, I'm... You have to, um, and then I think you do actually have to fight the bottom. Um, which does have an actual health pool in the That's like a real boss, right? I don't know what that was about, but yes. Whatever that was. Yes to whatever that was. Oh, they got a busted up shower in here. They got an antique coin in the toilet. Yeah, that's a good place for it. You know? 
Nice hand good ammo. You know, when I find my AT coins, I expect them to be in the toilet chat. That's where I wash them at. You think I want to use my, my filthy sink? Not even filthy. It's a filthy AT coin. Wash it out in the sink. Uh, the toilet first, then the sink. Oh, is that a clue? Yeah, I think you need to review your hopes again, too. Honestly. Alright, uh, this part's a little gory. Not too much, but it is a little, because I gotta drain the tub. This sure is a bathroom? It is! It is. I'm glad you realize. Disgusting. God knows what it is. God, God knows what. Uh, excuse me, Occupado! Occupado! Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll flush the toilet next time, alright? Look a little clog. Excuse me, I'm just gonna close that. Sir, I think there's something wrong with your face. No, he's perfectly fine. He's perfectly fine. I, I promise. Uh, let's see here. I have to. Where's my statue at? There it is. Too close. <laughs> He is perfectly fine. Listen, uh, he listen. We had a bit of an accident in the garage. He wouldn't understand. Uh, you kind of had to be there for it. <laughs> you, you wouldn't get it unless you were there. I'm just saying. He's perfectly fine. Which in a word means... <laughs> uh, I'm just going to start putting these in now. The dog heads, just because you know, kind of clear up some inventory space. Anyways, we're gonna squeeze our way through here. Oh, the Emperor himself! I'm so sorry, I missed your message. But average Louisiana experience? For real, though, actually. Actually, this is an average Louisiana experience. I, mean, I wouldn't know, I'd never been there, but I heard New Orleans is a great place. Um. <laughs> well, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Someone who does not do good with horror games, I found you pretty odd watching Amasu Girls. <laughs> Listen, there's a big difference between watching and playing, I'm just saying. Just saying. Big difference between watching and playing. Uh, sadly, I know there's a secret here, but it's not gonna give it to me until I find it, so... Sad. It's the big sad. Uh, okay. Psycho stimulants. Did I get everything in this room? Sure. Uh, don't have enough space for handgun ammo? Bruh. Alright, where's my cycle stimulants? I'm gonna take those. There you go. Yeah, see where items are for a limited time. Blow! Blow! Um, anyways. Shotgun chills. Uh, I don't have a lockpick for that. Not that I need it. But I don't have one. Uh, this is another 18 coin. We'd like those. Take some gunpowders, why not? Uh, I believe there's nothing in this. Yeah, it's just disgusting. That's all it is. Uh, right here. What's on the board? Looks like a kid drew it. <laughs> June 14th. Vacationing husband and wife. The husband was a success. He's the 12th. Unfortunately, if the wife is no good, so we'll just get rid of her. July 7th. Three college girls. They're all rot. Lucas is a damn idiot. August 13th. Homeless man. Turned in three days. He's thirteenth. Uh, don't know what that picture is of, but it's a picture. Looks like something lives here. What the? Excuse me. Take down the knife, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> melee only! Actually, fun fact chat. That's actually how you get the circular saws. You have to beat the game melee only. <laughs> so, so that's what that accomplishes. I forgot about that. Now that like, it just like kind of hit me with a flashback. I'm like, oh yeah, that's how I got that! <laughs> Beat the game with the, only the knife, and you get the circular saw for a weapon to use. <laughs> uh, let's 
Let's see here. Dear Courtney, those bastards are looking for me, but maybe this gives you a chance to escape. To escape, you have to find three reliefs. What the relief shaped like dog heads. I saw the one that has a section room underground. Get it, it's the key out of here. Something's wrong with me. It must be that shit they made me eat. If I were to die, I'd at least like to go out fighting. But to get a hold of that shotgun I saw in the rec room, make them regret what they did to me. You need to get out of here. I love you, Courtney. Love Travis. Yeah, Travis seems like a nice guy, I'm just saying. You know, I'd fuck with Travis. Uh, anyways. <laughs> That's more handgun ammo, nice. Alright, now I can uh, dump out my inventory real quick. Uh, dump all these in there. Dump that in there. Dump some of that in there. Don't need this Mia tape anymore. Uh, I could make more first aids, but hold on to those for now. Uh, I am going to go ahead and move that there. Uh, I think I'm going to keep one first aid out here for now. Just because. We're going to save our game here. So, how are we looking at ads? We're doing pretty good on ads, okay? I can get through this next section when we're gonna run ads, so we'll be good. This part was always a pain! I, I hate this part for me. Right, I know that door's locked. Ads? Yes, unfortunately there's ads. We run a three minutes worth of ads every hour to help disable the rules for anybody just coming in, of course. This way we can all enjoy the same experience of content. I didn't block. Bitch. A little bloody, a little beat up. I'm okay though, I swear. It's locked on the other side. Man. something, I swear to you. It's a pan good ammo. Oh, they're looking at help. Alright, we're at yellow right now. We're not red, so we're good. Good thing. He's coming out of the wall! Oh, just... I forgot you come behind me! <laughs> Alright, now we're at red. I, I honestly forgot he comes up behind me. <laughs> Complete skishu. What that lag? I'm not going in there yet for two reasons. Reasons that shall not be explained. Which way do I go? I think I go deal with this thing. Freeze! FBI, open up! Takes so much ammo sometimes. Hey, we got gunpowder. How's my inventory space looking? We're looking good. We're looking good. And man, Lucas, I caught the guy who keeps trying to escape. Locked him up in the leftmost incendiary so he can't get away again. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to open the door, don't you? Just remember three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with this girl. Must be Courtney he's talking about. Travis Courtney. So, your name is... Yeah, this is Travis. Right, so this is a handprint, of course. Just double check. I think there's an item in here or not. That was an accident! I didn't want to do that! That's fine. Alright, so Tamara, and then the, the handprint. We unlock it, so. Go. I fucking hate this. <sighs> Deep breath. Deep breath, I got this. 
Six and a head kills him, so that's good. Alright, we're just gonna go in here first. This time you're here already! What do you mean? That's crazy. Keep missing! Alright, unfortunately I gotta collect all this shit again. Do I? Do I? I do. Got Padre's here at least. Don't have the shotgun, sadly. I want the shotgun. Love to have the shot. Uh, Alright, what am I gonna do? This way. Run about in the room, of course. Should be good. Bro, don't tell me you're stuck on the door. Okay, he's not stuck on the door. He's not stuck on the door. He's good. He's good. He's good. Oh my god, I need to aim better. Bitch! Get lucky, get at me. It's okay, though, we're good. We're good. Yellow health, yellow HP, we're good. We're built for this. Alright, got the dissection room key. That's one reason why I didn't go into the other rooms, because you actually need that key first before you go in there. Um. Unlocked. Scorpion key. What's good? That I do need. Treasure photo. So that's that other treasure photo I was talking about. Like I said, in that other room, I knew where the treasure was, but you have to find the photo first that corresponds to it before you can open it. Which, uh, it kind of blows, but that's alright. I guess I can't blow it. Alright, I'm gonna make another heal real quick because I am bad. Okay, I remember every time that would always scares me. But this time it didn't because I knew it was coming. It's one of those things like when you play this game enough, you just know it's coming. So Um I'm trying to think. I think I can actually go back up for now. That's okay. This guy does spawn. See, it's only took three. It's hilarious. Fun fact as well is uh, if, it, if there's any enemies actually chasing you, uh, as soon as you go into the safe room, they all despawn. So that's a little fun fact. Pro tip. Pro tip, if you will. Uh, I need that key. I need that key too. Uh, Yeah, hold on to the lockpick for now. Uh, we're gonna do a quick save. Quick save here. It's been over a year since I last played this chat. I can't believe that. I'm still like processing that. That it's been over a year. Fuck it's hell yeah. So this is uh that's what it's talking about. So, right here. You can actually pick this up. This is steroids. The steroids will boost up your health. <laughs> so, all the hidden treasure items are actually just, like, health booster items, basically. Uh, they're, they're not just health, they're also endurance, I believe. Health of, uh, health of endurance items. But that's, uh, that proves to be handy, and it's really useful, of course, allows you to take more hits, of course. Uh, things like that, so... We're gonna go get ourselves a handy shotgun real quick, and then uh, we will continue forth with our adventure. I 
I don't recall if Jack's still up here, though, or not. I'm gonna find out. Somebody wanna hold my hand when I go through here? Tired of chasing all these shitheads around the yard. Next time one of our guests runs away, hide the dog head release so they can't get out of the house. Let's hide them like this. Living room, grandfather clock, the book and re recreation room, the dissection room in the basement. Oh shit, he is here! Oh shit, he is here! Brady's dentures? The fuck? All right, I gotta, I gotta loot this room fast. Uh, Mrs. Baker, how have you been feeling recently? It's been a long time since you came in for your last checkup. I'm writing to tell you that I finished examining your x-rays. Those dark areas in your cranium are fungus-like structures that seem to be related to the mold. The hallucinations and noises you said you've been hearing may be related to these growths. If your symptoms are due to a fungal parasite, it must be removed before it's too late. I don't mean to scare you, but I'm seriously concerned for your health. Please come to the hospital as soon as you read this letter. As your doctor, I strongly recommend you undergo further tests. Crawford Lang, Dolby General Hospital. Thank you for the head pass for Snowball, by the way. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, Cam? How's the YouTube been going for you, buddy? Where's my little Ethan? I don't know where Jack is. Hi, Jack! Where the hell you think you're going? Um, uh, this way. I forgot something in the 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 the, the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, put something set up, please. Go ahead, fucking Ajax. Can't take that item. Uh, you already had too many items. What do you mean I had too many items? Brother man, come on. Game is trying to say I'm hoarding shit. It's fucking wild. Yeah, it's because the shotgun that statue's holding is the real shotgun. And you kinda need the Alright, I'm just gonna put away the lockpick for now. I don't think I need it right now. Yes, yeah, get them daily drinks while you're here, you know? Get your daily beverage. Enjoy. Something for everybody, I tell you. Alright, chat, uh, tell me now, do you want to see the boss fight before or after ads? Uh, that's all I'm gonna tell you. Because we got ads coming in 10 minutes. Um, I just want your clarification when you want to see. Uh, you know, I guess I'll bring some shotgun shells. Yeah, I got a little bit of shotgun anyway. Preferences before or after the ads. But regardless, like you're not gonna miss any content. So uh, that's all I'm trying to get at here. I don't remember if these enemies respawn. We'll find out. I don't think they do. Oh, no, we're good. We're in the clear. So we good ammo. There you are. Ouch. Bitch! I have a bad habit of like not going to be so. I thought what are you supposed to die already? Oh my god. I may should be the corner. It's actually bad. Yeah, I gotta that. That uh, what is this emote here? Let's see here. Just, just a simp. Bruh. 
Don't, don't help me, Eddie. <laughs> don't fucking help me, Eddie. Crazy. <laughs> Alright, what I'm gonna do, this is the reason why I brought the shotgun. I hate this room entirely. In the whole entirety of my existence, I fucking hate this room. Who's next? Get out of here. Who's that? Bitch. Get out of here. I think I'm out of heals. I'm actually out of heals. Oh, God, no. Oh, Lord, you know. Not like this. No! <laughs> Once again, I stand by what I said. I hate that room the entirety of my existence. Uh, going through knife only mode in that room is fucking horrendous. I hate it. Man, I gotta do all this again. Alright, chat, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna run the ads first before we do the boss fight, but I'm at least gonna get up to that point. So, don't worry. You won't miss any content for the other dudes to the boss. But, uh, we'll. We'll miss me sick. <laughs> Blocking saves you so much. 100%. Oh, God. God. You first. Who's X? X! Oh god. Pretty sure there's a bobble in here too. He, he just spawns there! Fuck! I hate this room so much. It's one of those things I just know, like, I don't know where all the spawns are, but I just know there's, like, different spawns for these things. It's horrible. Fucking worst room of my life! Uh, this is where, uh... Some shotgun shells. That's good. Alright, before I do anything else, we're gonna pause it here for a second. We are gonna run to ad break, three minutes worth of ads. If you don't want to miss any sort of content, of course, you can just stick around until after the ads are done, you won't miss anything. Uh, if you don't want ads, you want to come hang out and vibe, uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe, just Twitch Turbo as well, but I will see y'all on the flip side. I gotta, I gotta use the restroom myself and, like, respond to a couple DMs, so we're good. I will see y'all on the flip side. <laughs> Now we are creating a for the boss. So, yeah, first boss fight in the game. This is um one thing I want to mention as well. I feel like after this fight, the game just kind of escalates. And what I mean by that is like the pace of the game and the vibe and everything. It was all like you know it's like very slow, spooky, building up to this point. But then I feel like after you kind of get out of the guest house, it just I don't know. It, it doesn't really fall off, but it just feels like it's more fast paced from there. Uh, at least for me. And it happens more or less that way every time I play it, so... I don't know. Now she says he will be her father. No, 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 no. Here's a cop. find him, and I will make him suffer.
here we go. I'll be honest, I looked at this door and I honestly kind of thought it was a wall. <laughs> I forget. I do the forgets. It's hilarious. Deputy, how's it hanging? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I cut it too. <laughs> uh, one of the most familiar parts of this fight. That door is going to be locked, uh, I believe, actually. There's gunpowder down here. Sort of sacks. There right, we go. I don't have enough space for the dog, Henry. <laughs> oh, I hate it here. Uh, I could make a strong. I'm just gonna make a regular. So if I make a strong one, I'm still not gonna have enough space, which is even more funny. <laughs> there we go, take the dock and release. Oh, he kicked me down! Alright, fine. We'll do this. Mano el mano. Mano de mano, mano el mano. Take that check! Ouch! Yeah, it hurt your head too, didn't it, buddy? Bro, chill. Chill, you good. You good, homie. You can get, you get one of those. A couple of swings. Run away. Rinse and repeat, you know? Oh, hi. Ouch. Hey, what's in here? Shotgun shells, thank you. Yeah, kind of, actually. If you're not careful, I can't. <laughs> Excuse me! Jack, you're losing it a little. You're losing it a little, Jack. Oh god. Oh, that's a face! Knee to the face. Would you? Oh god, come on. Now. Oh, that's another me. I'm ready to pull out my gun, but I don't want to. I'm trying to be civil about this, Jack. I'm at least trying to be decent enough to use a knife. Hey, what are you doing? No, oh, you don't need that. You don't need that, Jack. Put that away. Alright, that's it. Oh, 
I'm trying to thrust you! It won't thrust! God. Hey, Jack, we kind of need that middle pillar, I think. The whole place ain't gonna tumble, is it? Oh god! Oh, I'm glad I stopped that in time. If you actually don't stop that, you actually decapitate you. Fun fact. <laughs> Ask me how I learned that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Cross attack. Hey, look at that, he's dead. Hey, buddy, your legs. Your legs, though. Fuck. Yeah, look at all that. Do me a favor and stay dead. All right, chat, we think he's dead for sure this time, right? Right, he's obviously dead this time. He's gotta be. Ain't no way he lived through that. Ain't no way. I mean, when I'm just a pair of legs, I don't think I'm going to come back. I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, ruined my chainsaw. All right, uh, we're just a little beat up here. You know, maybe throw a little bit of dirt on it. Should be all right. Okay, then we'll use strong oh, Didn't want to, but didn't have to. Um, I did get the relief yet. No, I, I did. Okay. All right. Backtrack. <laughs> Ready to blast anything gets in my way. Not that anything will, but you never know. I, I don't remember too much. Granny, Jack's dead. I think you should know this, but Jack is dead. I even had a switch on him. Jesus. She's hard headed, I swear. God, if you would have told me Jack was dead, I'd be like, no, my poor little Jack! <laughs> and then, like, yeah, you know, things like that. But Granny's just not even twitching. It's crazy. Is that? Hell yeah, we're on the outside now. What is this place? There's actually an herb here. And actually, fun fact, if you didn't know, now you know. There's actually an antique coin over here. <laughs> Steroids, uh, stabilizer five. Actually, got a fridge full of food for once. My body's feeling weirder and weirder. Soon I'll become like mom and dad. It's all her fault. Should I run? No, I can't. I'm dead if she finds out. That woman she's with, Mia, she knows something. I had to see her, I could cure myself. I had to find out more. It's too late for them. Coin. Let's go. There's a magnum here. Uh, 
Oh my god, it's a it's a it's a bra! Oh, oh no! Um, anyways. Broken handgun. If you have a repair kit, you can fix it. I do have to pull out my antique goods though, actually. Uh let's see here. Got those. I'm actually missing one here. Put the away. So I'm gonna uh, get me a nice steroids. Stabilizer, but that's all right. I can wait on it. Same here. No. Oh no, phone's ringing. Oh man. Oh wow. I wonder who's calling. Um. Anyways. So what is it you need me to do? Is it going to help me get out of here? Yes. Now listen carefully, Ethan. My family and I, our bodies are contaminated. I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. As long as you're not too far gone. <sighs> All right. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help me and we can get out of here? Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you. All right, Chad, I do want to give a heads up now. Uh, mods, if you are around, of course, if we could, give the pin message, please. But basically, this is a bug warning coming up now. This next section of the game is going to feature a lot of different bugs, and uh, I know the two pros especially, not to call anybody out, uh, cannot handle bugs. These bugs are very disgusting looking, and they're, they're very realistic looking as well. So I do want to make sure that there's a warning that you are aware of this. Um, if you want an ETA on how long this section might last, I would give it like 45 minutes to an hour, I would say. Because I can generally get through it pretty quick, but but yeah, um, just a heads up, it is a bug warning, and um, I just want to make sure that we are clear on that. So, look at the other side. I should be ahead of you. That's a good part of you. at the moment, so no worries. There you go. There you go. All right, I have a few minutes. Got so many pigs. Oh my goodness. All right, anyways. Sorry about that. Sure, are you about it? He is good. All right. Hit messages there, so yes, once again, viewer discussion is advised, so I, I highly suggest. Yeah, I'm cautious. Luckily, it's about the only section of the game that has that, so. Once again, it's one of those things I'm glad I'm kind of <clears throat> about, so. so I this is also like one of the first sections of the game I really hate. Uh, 
uh, besides having to deal with Jack. Bugs in general are just annoying. Upstairs. Don't go up. Hatch. Fucking insects, I tell you. Old house map. There we go. This is another reason why it's have, uh, good to have the steroids handy. It's uh, because these bugs are just. Health slowly but surely. It's annoying as shit. Uh, the nozzle's not over here. Oh, yeah, it is. Burner group. I believe there's another save point over here. I'm highly positive there's a bobblehead in here somewhere, and I forget where it is. Or it's an anti coin, one or two. Regardless. Uh, anyways. Uh, we're gonna keep one of those in my inventory just because uh, these bugs get really out of hand of annoying. Uh, nice, forgot about the backpack. It's a highly positive there's a bobble in it. Not that it's important, but I just. I don't know, it just. Trying to remember back when I played this before. Trying to remember, it's rough. Oh, here it is. That's because it is there. I just, I'm blind. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I wasn't losing it. I know there's a jump scare coming up somewhere. I don't remember where. I know it's here. Uh, don't need that. See, is it this one? Oh, shot. It's not it. You bugs. Oh. Lockpick. Nice. And I got some psycho stimulants. There we go. I believe that's only two parts I need, and then I can make the, the thing. Oh yeah. There we go. Hey, we get the burner. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna switch these up though. I would rather have this over here and then my pistol all the way here. Um, and then. Let's see, I'm gonna hang it over here then, technically. Alright, this should work.
I didn't mean to heal there, but I accidentally hit heal. Which is hilarious. I do that all the time, I tell you. Anti coin. Nice. Yeah! No more bullshit, Mia. I want some answers. I know. I want some answers. I know, you're right. And I always wanted to tell you, but but I just I can only remember a little and the rest is just gone. <laughs> Dad, right? You mind if I uh, borrow mommy for a little bit? Why don't you stand there? Do something! Ethan, help! Damn it. Now hear me out, chat. I don't have it with me at the moment, but we do have those bolt cutters, technically, don't we? Or no, did they get confiscated? I was gonna say, we could like bolt cutter our way through this. Either then, you could just shoot through the fence! You could cut with this little knife! I mean, a knife won't do you well, but still, you have many ways to get through the fence! Anyways, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. Alright, I got stone statuette though, so that's good. We got that. Uh, I need some more flame to rainbow. That's what I'm gonna need. I need some more fuel. That sounds like problem for me. Stay the fuck out! Oh, come on, really? Still getting it through? Bullshit. Strong chem I need chem fluid for it. Yeah. That's us. That just means I have to take damage here. That part is, I take the pill on the Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, yes, my kitty! <laughs> Excuse me, Margaret. Um, give me a moment as I solve this puzzle real quick. Thank you. All right, Margaret, I'm going to see you on your side. Thank you. <laughs> Don't feel like she called me! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, man. Part is the worst! Fuck. Oh, I hate this, I hate this, oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Oh, hate this. Oh, get a herb. I'm not going up there yet. I had a feeling it would. Oh my god, the game crashed, chat. I'm, I'm sad. Now I'm gonna go through all that part again. I gotta get the. Oh my god, I gotta get the burner nozzle. I gotta get everything all together again. Man, it's a bullshit. I'm trying right now. I'm trying in the club. Oh my goodness. It's fine. This is fine. Yes, Margaret. Okay. Sorry, man. We'll have it again. Alright, so I guess I don't. Um, I guess I did auto switch. So that's Hi. 
It's actually one of those things that can shoot her enough, she fucks off, actually. Alright, we're trying to get. Right, what I'm gonna do this time is we're gonna play it smart this time, actually. What I'll do, I'm actually gonna do two things. It'll help out a lot. Fucking shit, talk. Show yourself. Uh, -huh. yes. uh, I don't think there's anything over here. Sure. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is we are getting back over here, and we're going to obviously save again. But before we save, uh, my health's looking alright. Could be better. We're gonna uh, take some cap fluid out. Uh, we're gonna put the powder back in. I'll take that. Put that in. I don't need cycle stimulants at the moment. We're gonna put our lockpick in here. Uh, solid fuel will need that, so uh, I'm not gonna take any first aids at this moment. I shouldn't need any. Uh, my big pet peeve about the burner is um, it just didn't have a lot of ammo. Uh, really did not have a lot of ammo. It just wasn't worth the bang for the buck. 100%. That was my big pet peeve about the burner. So otherwise, we did pop a save there, so which means if we do end up crashing again for whatever reason, we should be all right. So hopefully. Like, I'm so glad Margaret section of the game was really short, but I'm also like I hate it so much because of all the bugs and shit. Which makes sense why it's short then because of that uh, sort of aspect. I don't know, it's why not crashes. <sighs> I need to do a one time thing. <clears throat> more cycle stimulants? Oh my goodness. I just got some more cap fluid. Some more solid fuel, it will be good. So, they yank this crank. as well is, why does a Margaret just pin down Ethan down here, like she did uh, Mia, you know? Like, you get what I'm saying? I mean, I get, like, Ethan is armed this time, but with the way she is, she shouldn't be as scared as Ethan as Ethan is of her. I don't know, this is my two cents. Bed. Let's go. Should be safe in here. We got a burner fuel in the toilet. You know, that's, uh, that's always where I keep mine. Yo, Raiju! Thank you so much for the 12 months! 12 months of the Prime Gaming. Thank you so much, my boy. Good morning. Good morning to you, buddy. How you been? What you got playing? What you been up to? We can't get back place for Evil today? Hell yes. Hell fucking yes. But 12 months. I can't believe it's been that, but. Been that fucking long. <sighs> Okay, okay, a little bug, bitch. Uh, I'm still at yellow health, but you've been busy? I feel that. I feel that, though. Work been busy, or like, what's been busy for you? Um, don't remember. I don't think there's just a save over here, is there? I'll double check by now. I'm highly positive there's not. Is there? Damn it. 
seem to work in the kids and try to keep on suit level and risk a rate so low to lead something in. Oh, I did swarms. I bet that's an experience. I can only fucking imagine. <laughs> Are you all ready for this? Margaret, you bitch! Uh, oh. Imagine it's not going so well. So <laughs> I can only imagine, bro. Funny, I can only imagine. Flood the place. Oh god, it hurts! Just a lantern might explode. Sadly, that's not how this works. Although, I don't know what's damaging me down there, but that's hilarious. It's hilarious. Whatever was damaging me down there. Um, anyways. Take some chem fluid. Zoe, you tried to sneak up to the second floor again, didn't you? Did you think I would notice? Even after what happened to Evelyn, you just keep talking about some strange medicine. What are you planning to do with my altar? Better keep those sticky fingers off of it. Nobody touches my sacred altar. You think your father and I are idiots? You spoiled, pathetic child. I wish you'd never been born. Unforgivably pathetic, yet yeah, always looking down on us and trying to leave our home. After everything we've done for you. Pathetic, 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 pathetic. Whoever you even touch my altar, I'll slice you off your chest and serve it up as pot roast. Yeah. That's a, that's a hell of a message by your fucking mother. God damn, Margaret. That's anger issues. My mom! Well, they should at least become a firebomb. You would think. You would think. Uh, the other reason is, like, they actually need the lantern, sadly. It is something you do need. Target acquired. It's a vibe! Regarding the series of serum, the following items beat a both synthesized serum, D series cranial nerve, D series peripheral nerve. I think that's it. We'll just take. Ah, oh, these motherfuckers use electricity. Well, did you find a serum? I just got done dealing with your mom and her fucking bugs. Wish you could have warned me. <laughs> Sorry about that. What about the serum? I haven't found any, but I did find out we need to make one. A D-series head and an arm. This can't be right. A head? I think I have that around here somewhere. You do? I don't know about the arm, though. Have you searched the whole house? No, not yet. I still need to check the second floor here. All right. Check it out. Meet me at the trailer if you find it. Oh, shit. I'm just staying in a bike. I don't know. Just, did I already search this? I don't know. I did. I gotta check the second floor. I am leaving the bug warning up still because um, we're not done with her yet, sadly. As much as I want to say we are. So, minor spoiler. October 11th. My ears have been ringing all day and I haven't been able to sleep since the child showed up. It's like Zoe says there's something strange about the child and the woman she brought. October 15th. I'm seeing things. Hearing things. I can't stop feeling nauseous. I went to see the doctor in town and he gave me an x-ray. What's happening to me? Child 23. The child gave me a present. Ch child 23? Did I just say child 23? <laughs> October 23rd. October. I put the present in the secret room right at the back of the second floor. Nobody will find it. That arm is a sign of the child's trust. That arm will lead us to happiness. And anyone who corrupts that happiness, I won't allow them to live. Fucking wild mother shit right here, I'm telling you.
And this is why I say we need the Lancer, because we need her Lancer here, technically. Let's go open this door. Oh, there's an anti coin tape. What's that? Oh my god! It was an arm! It was an arm! Anyways. Um, I could make a first aid. Do I need it though? Mm. <laughs> it's a big ass spider! Chase it! Shoot it! What the fuck? That's special. Now play though. That is special though, you think you're right. You fucking right. Well, we're outside. It's great. Right back here, real quick. A couple things. Oh, we got Kevin Blue here? Aww. Uh, well, I'll just take some psycho stimulants anyway. Because, uh. Yeah. How's that? Oh, the bobblehead! I forgot there's a bobblehead here, actually. Why didn't you notice it? Is somebody on the other side of that? That's crazy. Here it is. Um, what all am I gonna need for this fight? Um, we will go ahead and take our 18 uh, points actually. I don't need the croaky anymore at this time. I don't need the crank at this time. Actually, I think I might need the crank. Either way, we're gonna put our four 18 coins in here. We'll get ourselves a stabilizer. And I think it helps with stamina regeneration. I forget. We're gonna find out. Uh, reloading speed, that's what it does. It helps with my reloading speed, which is really handy, so I'll take that. <sighs> and what about those two back? Uh, I have a lot of Kev fluid in here. I don't, uh, I do have one herb. Do I have any other? Oh, I have five other herbs. Yeah. I will take this first aid bed. We'll probably use it now, honestly. Uh, I don't have any more chem fluids, not chem fluid, but like fuel thing, so <laughs> unfortunate. Okay, we'll go ahead and heal up real quick, make sure we're at full health for the Margaret fight. Um, we're looking good on ads, we can get the fight over with. Um, after the Margaret fight, that's when the bug warning comes off, so just so we're aware. Shotgun shells. I didn't realize there were shotgun shells over here. Okay. Good to know. Uh, the more you know. The treasure photo! Although I forget where it goes. But that's okay. I don't care. That's that. That helps uh, undo a solution. That's a solution, but like. Is it solid fuel? There we go. All right, so I don't have any chem fluid now. <laughs> I got the fuel, but now I got no chem fluid. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you get one yeah. <sighs> Margaret. Margaret. Listen, Margaret, I'm only here for Mia so she can sign the divorce papers already, alright? Come on now, it's been three years. Actually, be kind of useful now. I think about it. Oh, 
yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Uh, oh. oh, God, I'm so jump scared now. I mean, that's strong chem fluid. I mean, that's not what I'm looking for, but I mean, it's chem fluid, technically. Uh, I be good. Uh, I remember if I checked all this or not. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good here. Just bigger and uglier than before. Actually, I'm just saying, imagine doing this fight on night only. Fun fact, I have. You scamper your way out of there! Earth of insects! <sighs> that part's disgusting. It's annoying too. Especially annoying a madhouse, oh my god. Bitch, you more than just a girl, I'm just saying. You hella more than just a girl. Evil? Nah, it's just boondocks, bitch, what you want, shit? Stop trying to make babies! You're disgusting! We're on Twitch right now, damn it! Don't do this shit live! What are your own time?
Get roar at me. She's still moving. Oh boy. Oh gosh, still alive. Still moving. goodness oh my god i fucking hate this bitch so much it's like literally everything i had just fucking kill her oh my god stay dead, okay <laughs> oh my god literally took everything i had that's fucking horrendous oh my god that's god awful all right i'm pretty sure i checked her back already I did not check up in here already. That's more handgun ammo. It's more chem fluid. Welcome to the greenhouse. <laughs> That's why you should always get a case of pure silver bullets to go down to the only water and leave in the house. <laughs> Roger, man. I 100% agree. I won't lie. 100% agree with this one. Wild shit, I'm telling you. So, you will... Yeah, sadly, apart from this part, the flamethrower is useless after this. Uh, literally, it's only good just for the bugs. As it's meant to be, of course, but other than that, it's it's complete dog. I fucking hate it. A gate is blocking the way! What if I were to. Not do anything, just look at it, apparently. Uh, anyways. There. Right. We in there. Perfect time too. We got ads coming up here. Separate AJ, we don't need that. Take out solid fuel. Get rid of this burner, because it's fucking dog. Uh, don't need the treasure. Move that up, actually. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep one herb. So this way I can mix it. But that's it. Alright, let's see here. Man, we're gonna use that. Because I have plenty of healing stuff. I'm not too stressed or worried about that, so we're good on that. Uh, we need nine bullets to get that. This is a, a good save point for now. Um, this is generally what this is. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna run a quick three, three minute ad break chat. What we're gonna do in this meantime is uh, pick up the 44 Magnum Manimal and put it in the chest. <laughs> I will see you on the flip side. We run three minutes of ads every hour to help sample pre rolls for anybody just coming in, of course. You won't miss any content while we are away. Uh, I'm just gonna get back up to the house pretty much um, to where we have to put the lantern up and then we will be going from there. But yeah, I will be right back. See you on the flip side. Uh, I didn't put into chest yet. I forgot about that. Yeah, Raji, I'm just saying, though, I played this game like a hundred times over. I'm kidding, not a hundred times. I played this game many times over, both on PS4 and on PC. And uh, what you're saying is complete facts, I'm just saying. Do what? What? Do what? Oh, yeah, I can take out the buckle, you know. On pin. Here we go. <sighs> Oh, 
so we'll be doing what about I do that fixed by chat box, so I think I'll look at that. <sighs> Silver bullets and oldie juice. Oh yeah, uh, if you if you were here to see what we were fighting, you would understand. Hundred percent. Alright, uh I'm not gonna go into what the it's going to do. Thank you for the stretch, I ride you, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're gonna stretch out. As I will be streaming basically all day, basically, if you, uh, for those of you who saw that can hear me at the moment, or if you have turbo. Um, after Resident Evil today, we are raving into a fellow bear, and we're gonna be celebrating Fat Bear Charity Week. So, I will be joining them, I'm playing some Mario Kart, I won't be streaming my side of it, but you will see me on their side. So. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it feels good stretch, honestly. I mean, you played the split second? What about split second? What about it? <sighs> Where's your burnout three? It's not gonna be for a while, I'll tell you that. It won't be for a while because uh if anything, it'll be a game I either stream on Discord or I play it on the other channel. That's all it is. Which by the way, if you want to check out my other channel, of course, you can. So you know, uh let's see here. I see built different. There you go, that's my other channel if you want to check it out. I do stream there occasionally. I don't stream down there all the time. It's just another fun channel for me to bullshit around and have fun with. So that's all it is. Mainly for when I want to do speedrun shenanigans or I just feel like uh, going uh, solo or whatever. So, you know, just hanging out. So these remakes so I can be multiplayer. Hell yeah, I agree. 100% agree. But welcome back for the ads, everybody. We are outside the crow door. We're going back in. And, uh, you know. Yes, I was just plugging my second channel. If you do want to see more of me uh, when I'm just live, whatever. That's more. Who, who hit the piano? Who hit the piano? Bastards. Anyways. So bug wording's over with. We are good on that part. All I gotta do is just hang up this lantern. And uh, who's ready to get spooked? Who's ready to get spooked? Chat, morning now. I fucking hate this part. With a passion at that. I have no shocker ammo. I'm a fucking moron. Oh, this is going to go horribly. Oh, lordy. Oh, somebody said help, please. Oh, I'm already getting chills. I hate this part so much. Oh, don't flicker my flashlight like that, please. Like, I know it comes, but it gets me every fucking time still. I hate it. I hate it. There's one thing I fear just as much as I do heights. You're going to find out. My family. Yes, he's nice. Oh, sorry, too. I see you know, does the speed runs on unscheduled streams over there. Yes, yes, I do. So basically, um, for anybody just wondering as well, uh, no, I'm not talking about this just speed distractor or anything. Uh, I need a minute. <laughs> I need a bit. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, anyway, so what was I just saying? <laughs> Basically, my idea is, is that during the week, I'm going to play one certain game or whatnot, um, or a series at least, and then on the weekends, so my weekends are Sunday-Monday, technically, so every Sunday-Monday, I'm going to be playing a second game, which uh, generally for the month of October here, we'll be focusing on our Resident Evil games for the month of October. And uh, also, I'm able to do longer streams these uh, days anyway. So during the week at this time, we were actually playing Resident, uh, Re Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident Evil Ocarina of Time, guys. That's the new Resident Evil game. Um, anyways, we're playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time during the week at this time. So during the week, uh, Slap Icy. That's hilarious. Uh, that's basically what the bonk is, but okay. Um, anyways. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> uh, currently, I play... Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. I don't have like a set schedule during the week at this time, but it goes based off of work and whatnot, so that's also why. But uh, being able to play kind of enjoy a different game on the weekends and whatnot with you guys is uh, it's really nice. So generally, the weekend games are gonna be kind of more of like a one-shot type of game, because so that way I can play it all in one stream. But uh, 
We'll see. We'll see what happens, obviously. It's up there! It's a little bear! Oh, It's got a little bloody belt, but it's a bear! That's an easy- Dude, hey, let's go! Right? For real. Like, the Resident Evil games are kind of shorter in a sense. Like, they're still long, especially, like, first playthroughs. But they're also shorter in a sense that I could, like, finish it in two days. Um, if I did, like, back-to-back -back streams on it. <laughs> so that's kind of what I look for for, like, these shorter series. Stop it! Stop it! Alright, chat. Well, like I said, there's one thing I fear more than I do, uh, just as much as I do heights, and that's fucking dolls. Baby dolls at that. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate them. Something's wrong with her. Oh, God! <laughs> Alright, you caught me, Ryan Chu! Jesus! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the catch them all. You caught me. What are you gonna name me now? You're, you're wild polar bear. I'm gonna be your new bear tick. You do ice bear. Stop it. Why is it dark? Stay away. Who is there? Watching animal is a no go. Yeah, no, no, thank you. I shall dump the nickname Frozen Bone. I like this. I like this nickname. Guys, I'm no longer Icy Bone Shredder. I'm now Frozen Bone. Wait a minute. One of my coworkers actually at work. We just talked about this like two days ago, I believe. We, um, he saw a TikTok or whatnot. I think they were actually moving to Animal Doll. And uh, they, uh, if you, in case you don't know, the Animal Doll was obviously haunted and whatnot. And they had to have the actual priest there with them as they're moving the doll. And it's, it's fucking wild. Like, I... I am horrified by that sort of shit. Like, Chucky is, like, kind of one thing, I feel like. Like, Chucky isn't, like, bad enough I can't handle it. But Annabelle is, like, a complete fucking new level to me. It's, it's, oh my god. I'm so fucking scared of it. <laughs> I will not lie. I've never even seen it. Don't really know what it looks like. I don't want to know. That's, that's, uh, that's basically where I'm at on that. <laughs> You have no idea? Oh, I don't. I know I don't. And I don't want to have an idea. That's the, that's the thing. <laughs> hmm. I can watch all those movies you can't too. I don't know. Annapolis with that bad? I mean, I don't know. I'd really have to chance it myself. Let's see, it shows, this. Yeah, it shows I'm back here. Yo. Yeah, close. Why is there like something hanging here? There's a doll, the demon advocate. Nothing too bad. Yeah, yeah, nothing too bad at all. <laughs> yeah, T. <tea>. T. <tea. laughs> Let the food get moldy. What's wrong with you? Come on now. What the hell? The food's all moldy. Yeah. Why is all this shit hanging around you, man? Alright, I'm just gonna borrow this R for a minute. Don't mind me. Nun and Conjuring said I'll have to be watched together. I did see the Nun. That one I have seen. The Nun. Uh, the Conjuring, I think I've watched one of the movies. I don't remember. And it's still pretty fucking horrifying, but... Still. These series are... I loved all the Conjuring movies. Alright, y'all ready for some really spooky shit? Well, first of all, there's a little girl here who just ran away. I fucking hate this room for the life of me. I fucking hate it here. I want to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. So I needed the adults, please. Please, I need the adults. Hey, buddy, I'm trying to get through here. You're not really helping by closing the door on me. I like horror movies in general. It really depends for me. It really depends for me. I can't just like watch anything. But some of them are like really good and like really scary. Others are just like horrible. Like why the fuck do I even watch this? And yeah, others are, like are just like too scary for me, you know? Fire flashlight, by the way, it's uh, always some useless piece of shit. I mean, 
I would say this was 2017, but even then, in 2017, they had better shit, believe. Who the fuck are you? There you are! I don't have anything to heal with. This is bad. I thought I would light up the whole house! Brother, like, we really need something like that right here. Just saying. Clearly, a clock 19 or a core 45. <laughs> Let me out, let me out, let me out! I'm done fighting, I'm done fighting, I'm done fighting, I'm done fighting. I'm just fucking running. Don't get me out of here. Nope, don't thank you. Don't want none. Who's that? Zoe, is that you? A lot of plastic should be there. Yeah, I got it. Are we really gonna be able to make serum with this thing? It'll be fine. After we make it, we can get out of here. Together. I'll be waiting for you in the trailer. Alright. Alright, chat, not so bad. So he's gonna be waiting for us in the trailer, it's okay. Trap. Always is? Nah, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Yo, you act like Zoe's gonna like, betray us or like do something or something like that, man. Come on now. Like, we just saw a little girl, got some spooky shit going on around us. What else can go bad, you know? <sighs> wait, wait, nudge, nudge, no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, listen, I think you're just being a little paranoid. I'm just saying. Hey, Zoe! Zoe? Oh, come on. Oh, she's pranking me. All right, Zoe, where the fuck are you? Now, where the hell are you? You know, never mind. We only need the head, and you've got it. And this is gonna help me and me, right? Hey, buddy. I what? thought you should know. I decided that Zoe needed a timeout. She and Mia are here with me. And they're keeping each other company. Just let okay. them both go. The host, what the do you need them for? Nah, uh, uh, this is true. That's family business, Ethan, and not your concern. Understand? <clears throat> now, if you want the head, feel free to come by any time, and I'll give it to you. But only if you participate in a little uh, activity I put together just for you. What activity? Oh, oh, oh. I know you're excited, but don't worry. It's not going anywhere. First step I need you to take, <laughs> partner, is for you to take a peek inside the fridge in the trailer there. Fuck you. Oh, oh, come on, pal. Don't be like that. You want to have some fun, don't you? Now, look in the fridge. What do you think, chat? Do we look in the fridge? Do we look in the fridge? I don't think we look in the fridge. Do we look in the fridge? No, I'm just gonna put that away for now. Do I have any shotgun shells in here? I don't think it's, it's a thing. You have plenty of gunpowder, you got fluid, all that shit. You have a security agent. I do not have any shotgun. Okay, well, we'll take two things of gun fluid. We'll actually take three. We'll take an herb. And I don't remember what I need for shotgun ammo. Hold on. Let's see what I They cut something off of her? What do you mean? Yo, I, I don't think Lucas would be that cruel. Come on now. No, no, I know chick is working low. This level of stress, I don't care how much you love her. Ah, oh, bruh. You, you don't understand. You just haven't found true love, clearly. clearly. I can't make shotgun ammo? I thought I could. Oh, uh, that's it. That do we the rip? All right, then. Um, I suppose I could make some more handgun ammo. I guess that's what I do. I didn't want to do that. Um, I see it's me. Are you locked up, buddy? Are you locked up? You need to be saved. I'm on the way, guys. I, I gotta just stream. I go sit around you. He's he's trapped somewhere. 
it's not worked in this situation. <laughs> Make a comment something like this, save yourself a drink in my name. It's a head. The pig is waiting for you to dissect your room, bitch. To the dissection room. I think I actually need protein. Um, yes, I do. Because I remember something. Yeah. Yeah. Is this situation you're burning it all down? Listen, I'm telling you. We got this very legit email a couple months ago saying that our wife is still alive and we should go save her. 100% legit. She doesn't even remember sending it or anything, but trust. Trust, it's legit. She knows she knows what she's talking about. She's just uh she's tripping a little, that's all. Uh, I'm just gonna eat on her real quick during the rest of the rest of that bloody shit. Well you can prevent psychopaths with the forest fire. <laughs> Listen, smoking the bear would probably be a little upset, I ain't gonna lie. Just say. Uh okay, go this way real quick. Smokey would get it. I mean, I don't know. This is Smokey the Bear we're talking about. So they get him too? What do you mean? Smokey's for fine. <sighs> Can't believe I hit that. What? That's gunpowder. Flame rounds. Shotgun chills. Got a grenade launcher. Probably fucked his family, killed him, and then ate him in front of him. He'd be, he'd be okay with the fire this <laughs> time. Bruh, this is like Smokey the Bear you're talking about. I'm just saying. I feel like you're throwing a lot of shade his way, man. I don't know how I feel about this. Man, you need strong kind of fluid to make flame rounds? Bruh. Brother, man. Come on now. I just knows what I'm talking about. I don't know. Mm -mm, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I can't let you off the hook on this one, I'm just saying. <sighs> Got a lot of shit back again. Um, I don't need a grenade launcher right now, I won't lie. Probably need it later, but I won't need it now. I actually need that. Um, I didn't realize I picked up shotgun shells. I'm gonna email Smokey the Bear one sec, alright? Do that, let me know his response. The whole game would end in five minutes. <laughs> hey, listen, we're trying to save our wife, okay? You don't understand. My wife is very important here. Oh, I should say my ex-wife. You know, you see. All right, listen. The situation is right now. Actually, we're not trying to save my wife. We're trying to save my ex-wife, okay? Listen. Three years ago, I, I told her I moved on. I'm trying to get the divorce done. It's it's hard to get through divorce paperwork when she's at her side, okay? So I gotta bust her ass out of this, not to save her, but so I can finally sign these divorce papers and move out with my life. All right? It's being held over my head. My lawyer won't move on about it. I don't know, man. I'm, I don't know what to tell you. So it's all I'm in it for. I'm not even in it for her anymore at this point. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a rush. Let's keep fire. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty dark down here. Oh, hi there. Hi, Granny. What are you doing down here? God, I fucking hate this place. Fucking knew it! Oh, I forgot about these days! No! I fucking knew! I forgot about those! Oh, I fucking hate those guys! Oh my god, I don't even know what button I hit, but I hit a fucking button and it made me do a whole full on 360, man. What the fuck is that, a hunter? Pretty much. It pretty much is. They're a lot weaker, but they're running four legs and they're fucking annoying as shit. The most annoying thing in this game. 
Besides the bugs. Dear Icy, this is Smokey the Bear. Under these circumstances with those diabolical hillbillies, I'm gonna need you to set the hell on fire, blazing no permission. Sincerely, Smokey Jeff the Bear, LOC of the Mountains. <laughs> it's fucking wild. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, when we are going through Margaret's area, we had a whole ass flamethrower too. And, like, we didn't fucking really use it. Which is even more hilarious to me. We had, like, every weapon at our disposal to take this place down, and, like, they just did. They just fucking did. <laughs> Plus, oh, I don't see Smokey again. Insane, <laughs> it's fucking wild. Alright, I hate it here. Alright, uh, if you have a weak stomach and whatnot, once again, this is just a little part you might want to look away for a moment if you do. Uh, you take some kind of food over there. I ain't mean to, I actually meant to, uh, to crouch and heal, but that's okay. So, alright, once again, final warning, and here we go. But, uh, it's about to get gory. <laughs> Wicked Mortis must have set in. His joints are already stiff. There's a sickening, sick, sickeningly sweet stench. He started rotting already. Prove you're a real man. Stick your hand down this pig's throat. Ah, no. Oh, God. <laughs> this game is literally like Mondays at work, for real. Yeah, for real, though, actually. You actually kind of Sorry, like... buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, Mary. How you doing? Other fish in the sea, and also other fish out in the forest. Psycho murder. <laughs> This is fucking wild. <laughs> Never seen a lab stroke before. <laughs> I'm gonna just run because I'm not about to fucking deal with all these guys. Fuck that. Oh shit, shit, shit. Rocky, Rocky! Oh god, oh god. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Uh, shotgun shells. Thank you. Uh, I believe there's... Yo, I don't even care. I don't even care. I think there was something else down there, but I don't even care. Just get me the fuck out of here. I fucking knew you were here! I don't say if that was a bigger guy, but it wasn't. Take out the fucking out of there. Good to see you too. Hell yes. Hell yes. How you been, Mary? How's things going for you? I know you've been having an addiction to Core Keeper lately. Um. Just you know. Hillbillies, yes, but Hillbillies is a mansion, it seems. Yes, this is, uh, this is true. This is true. Uh, don't think I need that right now, actually. Alright, we're gonna pop a save here before we go upstairs. Core Keeper it up all the time now? Shit. It's like between Core Keeper and the Trading Card Simulator game, uh, everybody's had an addiction to those two. Specifically. Ouch. Ouch. Chad, I think I made a mistake, but wait, I can't fluid. Stressing about another storm coming our way now. Aw, shit. You be safe, honestly. Been a lot of storms hitting over here or something. My goodness. I see. This is Phil. It's okay to let someone go in these circumstances after seeing these monstrosities. I can't let you continue on. Come on, man. 
Listen, Phil, I understand your concern, but Phil, I'm gonna have to tell you, I, I can't let this go, man. I need her. She has to sign these divorce papers. Listen, if, if she doesn't do this, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to get this divorce set. I want to move on with my life. You know? I want to move on with my life, Phil. You don't understand, clearly. God, anyways. Hurricane season is a frick. I believe it. I believe it. Okay, you guys please be safe, honestly. Anybody, like, out there, out that way. Hurricane season is a bitch! Nah, bro, some exes are like ticks. I took out the other guy first before I took out this one. I'm trying right now. Hey, I killed him. But what did it take? All of my ammo. <laughs> I'm hating it. Um, I need to look at my map real quick because I don't remember. Cancel, match for battle, storage. Okay, yep, I remember now. So I'm actually just like, stop signs, they don't let shit go! Uh, that's for real though. It's honestly for real. It's broken. He is just playing mind games with you, so you can trash your hometown. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. April, Oliver stopped his yelling, but sometimes I hear knocking from above. May 2nd, it really stinks. Some weird juice is dripping from the ceiling. Anyway, since I had time, I changed the remote control trophy again. That'll be shiny even at night. I don't know what the fuck you saw, Bob, but alright. Oh, you know what I need to pick up. I picked up something. Mommy took me to a hospital in town. They took a photo of my head with a weird machine. Then Mommy bought me a 259 piece puzzle from the toy store. Stupid Oliver keeps teasing me. You're a crazy head! I lied to Oliver. I told him to come over to my birthday party and then shut him in the attic from outside by remote control. He kept crying, Let me out, Lucas! I changed the remote control so stupid silly can't just go into the attic. I melded it with one of my inventor's contest trophies. Now she'll never find it. And that's where this one comes in. It was, uh, Oliver stopped his yelling, but sometimes I hear knocking from above. It really stinks! Somewhere juice is dripping from the ceiling. Anyway, since I had time, I changed the remote control trophy again. Now it'll be even shiny at nights. It's fucked up, man. We're asking for help. <laughs> This, this is a video where someone sticks in the couch or a dryer. Listen, listen. When I go back, okay, I will show you. I will show you the email that she sent me, okay? Listen, she wants to go through with this too. Even though she says she loves me, she wants to make it up. Listen, I might have to break it door until we get out of here. But until then, I kind of need her on my side until we get out of here. Until she signs those papers. But God, you guys just don't understand, I tell you. <laughs> Help me, step bro. Sucks, brother. <sighs> Time to go up. Up, beat up. <clears throat> Oliver! Happy birthday! You already see some fucked up shit? I'm telling ya. Once again, this is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna say it's a semi graphic part coming up here in a minute, but, um,. If you get an uneasy stomach or whatnot, this is a part that's not going to be for you. Just give it, like, probably, like, five, ten minutes. You'll be okay. So, so right basic contract. Uh, customer is Jack Baker. Contractor is Trevor Chamberlain Construction. The construction period was November 10th, 1992. November 30th, 1992. Details. Installation of Shadow Activated Doorway in Main Hall. Interesting. We got a toy axe. We got a model shotgun. Why? I don't know. I don't fucking know. But, yeah. We got this. I remember right, there's another bobblehead or something here too. Uh oh. It's not too important. Shrunk head fluid. Uh I'm not gonna lie, I kinda forget how this one goes. Uh something like that, right?
this is so weird. This is so weird! I don't know! Uh, <laughs> oh, Alright, there we go. Got it! <laughs> Alright, a painting named Judgment depicts a woman kneeling in front of a mob. Interesting. Uh, I can't take any supplements. It sucks. So I want to say Oliver is just gone. Way too much struggle for an easy puzzle, for real. A Judgment? Yes. It's a picture of Judgment. Chills. Yeah. You take those. The same time as all the other clocks. Pause. Hi, Grady. What's going on? You missed Jack. Listen, I'm sorry I had to kill him off, okay? Sorry I had to be that way. It's, it's, it's. April 1980, Jack joins the Marines. Wow, Jack was part of the Marines? No wonder he's like, able to withstand so much. Under my belt judgment, they must all be kicked in the butt. This is this is this is valid. I don't say wild, but it's valid, honestly. Hey, it's a lockpick. Unfortunately, I don't have enough space for that. That's okay. That's okay, because I'm just gonna pick up this backpack in here, wherever it is. I know it's in here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hey. All right, now we're gonna pick up this lockpick. Yeah. Bury that blade right in our throat, spare her the misery of living another week! What do you mean? She's perfectly fine. Listen, she just, she probably is like a little confused, a little dyslexia or something, doesn't know what's going on. It's like a plan for a weapon of some sort. <laughs> Main house, toilet. Totally Oh, that's a grenade launcher. That's what that is. Okay, yeah. That's just kind of tell you what a grenade launcher is. Very interesting, huh? You, you didn't even mention Ouch! Hi, Friday. Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Oh, goodness. I can't feel anything but any more type B, brother. That's fucking wild. Uh, I actually don't know what the other clocks say. Um, gotta see. Is there any clocks in here? Clocks, clocks, clocks. Anybody know what time it is? I swear, what do you says, uh, time reading you're gonna watch? I'm banning you. Diarrhea? You know what? Sure, that works. Let's go with that one. Uh, it is a 10.15. Is it 10.15? Yeah, it's 10.15. Time for you to get a clock? That's crazy. Feel better, got my tooth fixed. So I see, and it's here. Twitter post about that. I'm so happy to hear. Yeah, hopefully your tooth's doing a lot better. I don't know what happened, but man, that's fucking rough. I didn't say watch. I know. I know you did. And that's what irritates me more. Say dad. That's fair. You know anything about country folk? Because we uh, take our grandmas very seriously, but the lot of respect. This is this is true. This is true. I I respect that. I respect that. This is a no. fucked up room. Oh, God. Chad, I'm just saying. When they tell you to break a leg, I don't think they meant it. <laughs> I'm sorry, please don't leave. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> I'll see you circular sauce decorations, right? 
I haven't seen something like this since, like, Resident Evil 5. What do you mean? Maybe it's dark here. Where's the jump scare? I know it's coming. I hear you. Give me the fuck out! Give me the fuck out! Shit, reminds me of Knob. That's, that's for real. <laughs> a piece the size of a googly eye popped out and I had to get a root canal so they could save it. And have. It took two weeks to get the appointment. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's horrible. I do the steak leg, do the steak leg. <laughs> it's hilarious. But yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that Friday. Holy fuck. Yeah, that can't be fun to go through, I'm telling you. Uh, I don't remember what these toy guns are for, but they're, they're there. It works. Uh, gonna need that first stage from later. Uh, we gotta play this footage, actually. The Happy Birthday tape. We gotta play that. Can hand ammo? We can actually put that away for now. Um, I do actually need more handgun ammo, actually, before I could get. So, um, we have... I'm gonna shove one of these back. We're gonna take some chem fluid. I'm gonna take, like, three things of it, honestly. Uh, actually, we're gonna do four. Uh, we'll take four things of chem fluid. And then we're gonna take... So this way, go and reload our pistol. So I took the improv two highs. This is completely fair. This is completely fair, hundred percent. Right, so I got the key cards. Those are good to go. Uh, I'm gonna save you real quick. That's what I'm gonna do since I'm here. We're gonna go back to the trailer. Is what we're gonna do. Um, we're good on answer right now, so we're good on that. No need to worry. What the fuck you want? Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no! You gotta show up first! You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. So come on, man! Everybody's waiting for you! <laughs> I'm just saying, Lucas is very fucked up in the head. Real. I fucking knew it was coming! I'm running here, we're gonna take a heal. <laughs> The prize popped out perfectly, it was a uh, no cavity, so the dentist has no idea what caused it because the rest of the tube was in perfect condition, especially since it came out from the side, so it was all weird. That is pretty fucking weird. Unreal. Alright, uh, once again, this is what I mentioned. If you have a weak stomach or whatnot, this is the part I speak of. Uh, we're gonna do the happy birthday tape. So, this part gets a little bit gory, so. Yeah. <laughs> Give it like 5 10 minutes, and then we should be good. So, just wanna clarify that. You, my friend. You, I won. Lucky son of a bitch. You know, I, I actually envy you. What? You don't believe me? <laughs> this joy? Well, you can't fake this. Thank you for the pasta check Friday. Eight Appreciate weeks it. Weeks to finish this. And it is finally ready. And it's all for you. Thank you for the hydrate. I gotta grab a drink. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. It's gonna be fun. Just you wait. Alright, if somebody can guess what I'm drinking, I'll, I'll drop it in gift sub in chat. I'll give you a gift sub or I'll drop it in the channel. So, what am I drinking? Mm. Ah, delicious, I tell ya. Mountain Dew? Uh, what kind of Mountain Dew? Gotta be specific. Baja Blast? Alright, Friday, you want yourself a gift sub. <laughs> That's fucking wild that you guessed that. God damn. Enjoy the gift sub, buddy. <laughs> Refresh the stream and you won't get ads next time they come around. And you also have access to all the emotes. <laughs> Yo, Baja Blast is like banger, though, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yes, it was Baja Blast. 
it's hilarious. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta trigger this first. Oh no! Happy fucking birthday! Got a light? I'm closing the game. I'd really like to make it out of this room alive and not die a horrible, painful death. I know. It's a temp title. Take a candle, light it, and put it on the cake. And remember to smile. This party is for you! <laughs> Fuck you! Hey, it's not so nice, Clancy. Why are you telling the fuck you? What the hell? Let's right, so light the candle. Go over here. Do a little, a little, little bit of this, you know. Yeah. Be difficult to open it without the password. I know what the password is. Oh, it's a balloon! It's a little guy! It's a little balloon, guys. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and blow up this balloon. Oh, it's got nails all over it! Oh god, it hurts! Hey, okay, I got this quill at least. I'm just saying, what makes me laugh every fucking time about this, though, is the fact that everybody that plays through this part, they do the happy birthday tape, and then 9 times out of 10, they'll get to this part, actually, and they just do exactly what they did in the happy birthday tape. <laughs> I don't mean to call anybody out on it, but I already know someone who has, and I fucking laugh my ass off about it. It's great. <laughs> Anyways. Ew, that's disgusting. It's a dirty telescope. Well, well I can probably put this here. You can't hold it properly? Oh man, probably need a finger or something for that. Hmm. Um, anyways. That's how you get pink guy? Like, for real though. You're not wrong, actually. Stop whining, Keith. Alright, so this part we have somebody hanging. Looks like a tombstone thing, and then a bait. Uh, let's see here. Boom so thingy. Was it? I think I did it. I did we had um the baby Alright, what's in here? Oh it's a, it's a little straw doll. What's this here? The doll is hard to touch. No, I'm gonna try to touch it. It says you Chad, the doll's me! Oh look this is so nice. Making a doll after me? It's so sweet of him. What a nice guy. What a nice guy, I tell ya. Anyways. Oh, 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 it's burning me! Oh, oh, wow, Lucas, this is so nice. Man, what an ass, I tell ya. Uh, anyways, uh, we probably gotta put this in here. Uh huh. Oh, you can't write! Oh, uh, chat, he, it's so sad, he can't write! Alright, well, hang on, hold on to this. Yeah, yeah, there's your finger. Here you go, there's your quill. Alright, uh, now let's try this again. Go ahead and write down what you want to, buddy. Uh, what the? What, the <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man, <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Loser! That's not nice! 
check your arm. It says loser. Now we know the ice is a fact. Uh, we the fire tides one step closer to figuring out what's so up to me. They are. <laughs> is this fair? This is absolutely fair. All right, well, uh, time to put in my code loser. Right, got the valve handle, all right. So I can still block at least. All right, now we can uh, shut off the, the water and we can light our candle. Hey, what's all this shit on the floor? Hey, Lucas, I think I made a mess. Oh, it's the bear wool. Can we just like rip a piece of cardboard and like shove it in there, you know? Take the valve, put it in there for a minute. I don't know. Can't move. It's a bomb! The ah! oh, whole room's on fire! Let me move! Hurry, turn on the water! It won't move! It did move! It broke! Ah! Lucas, you son of a bitch! If anything, I'm pro probably, if I was in this situation, I'd honestly try to break your pipes. I, I know I probably wouldn't have any luck, but I'm just saying, if I was actually in that situation, breaking the pipes would probably be the best thing to do. Happy birthday! And there you have it. The gory part is over with. It just mainly is really unsettling, like, especially when you get stabbed in the arm. Uh, a lot of people, like, really get unsettled because of that, so I don't blame you. Don't blame you if you can't handle it, so. I like that. Let's put that precautionary warning, uh, above, uh, before we get to that. Uh, I don't think I need any, uh, the sneak key anymore. Uh, so I think I can do that. However. Guys, look at this bra! <laughs> it's probably Zoe's bra! <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm such a child. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. We're looking pretty good on ads. We could probably get through most of Lucas' section before we gotta run the ad break, so otherwise, uh, here's the sprinting past these things and hopefully that can hit! Uh! Let me in! Let me in! Bitch! Can't see! Alright, here we go. I had to waste a heal, but we got it! Alright, we're good. Let's play! Guys, what do you think we're gonna play? That sounds fun. Hey, you kiss. My thing work. Yeah, it's working, buddy. <laughs> Ethan, you got beautiful eyes. Ethan. Ethan, Ethan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some for you. Uh, listen, Lucas, my name is Icy, thank you. Lukey, Lukey, what up, guy? <laughs> you got the thing, I You know what this is for? You know what Zoe wants to do with this? <laughs> She thinks this thing is special. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, Ethan. That ain't special. This, this right here is special. You see, Ethan? Pulling off his fingernail! Oh, God, it's the worst kind of torture I forgot about. Oh, God. 
just trying to show him. I'm just trying to show him not everybody wants to go back to how things were. So he's a stupid bitch. She doesn't understand that I don't want to go back to how things were before my father found y'all. <laughs> now everybody wants to turn back the clock. So, so Ethan, <clears throat> Ethan, you can, uh, <laughs> you can, um, crawl around underneath that filthy, rotten house all you want looking for them ingredients, but you ain't gonna find a goddamn thing, Ethan. You don't need that serum? Ooh, baby. <laughs> You're gonna have to come through me. You hear? Now, come on, Ethan. What do you say? <laughs> it blew up! Ah! Fuck! Oh, I fucking hate this. Part. You're gonna find out there's a lot of parts I hate about this. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. This part, I just like, I kinda gotta take slow, but not like too slow. You know? One of them scenarios. Oh, I almost walked into that. That would have been uh, very unpleasant. 100%. I thought it was like low enough, but it was, uh, I thought I was low enough technically, but apparently I wasn't. Oh god, this part is horrible. Chuck of chills, let's go. I'm gonna need a lot of those for this coming section. You fucking jelly rigged them. That's what it is. <laughs> I think I'm stupid. Come on now, Lucas. Password, right? Mm, why don't you try 0814? No, 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 no. 0621. No, 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 no. It's 0514. Oh, come on. Take a chance. You never know. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Am I like really running low on chem fluid? I think I'm down to my last chem fluid. Oh my god. I really burned through that. It's horrible. Let's just go for sakes. Do what I need. is open. I knew it was some sort of way. Okay. 
got the fluid there. Here we go. See, I don't need the f the fuel though. I don't use it. Just say I knew something comes around here. I just forget where. Bro, you're still alive? Get out of here! Ain't no fucking way! Get out! God damn! Fucking blast them full of shotgun shells. Oh, we're still at yellow health. Oh my goodness, I low on health. Bullshit! Oh god! God, I hate this section. Like, they knew what you were cooking when they made this. Oh my Jesus! I almost fucking walked into that. Oh lordy. Alright, we're good. Man, they knew what you were cooking when they brought this in. But man, it's, it's fucking bad. Fucking news, I'm bomb! Oh, that was far enough back. <laughs> Alright, we got some steroids, though. That's good. Uh, that's actually really good. That all. Oh, I think that fully heals me, actually. It does. Oh, thank fucking goodness. Oh my god, that was horrible. This part sucks. You still alive? Get out of here! You're still alive? Oh my fucking goodness! Get out of here! I was like, all right, you know what? He's still alive, and he just starts scoring more. And it's like, brother, stop it! Get fucking help! Jesus. Is that strike with some units? No, it's gunpowder. Close enough, I see. Alright, this is perfect, because we got ads coming up here. This will allow me to kind of get my head straight and whatnot. Uh, let me just save real quick, uh, first of all. So chat, we run three minutes worth of ads every hour. Uh, it helps to see more people start by just coming in. You won't miss any content while these ads are running. If you don't want ads, and you want to see what I'm up to, you go help. Come hang out, chat. You're more than welcome to. All you have to do is sub. Otherwise, uh, Twitch channel will exist as well. But thank you so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we're, we're about mostly through the game. We're getting towards the end, I'll be honest. Um, I'm debating on whether I start the DLC today or if I wait. Um, it just really depends on like what time we get done with this and uh, how much time we got left. So, On that note, I will see y'all on the flip side and uh, yeah, be okay. Well, as for those of you who are here, of course, um, you're just going to watch me inventory some.
I guess strong, strong kill. All right, I think we take the burner here. I'm gonna use that. As much as I don't want to use it, I think it's gonna be something I have to at least like bring along for now. Uh, we only got one chem fluid here. Things like that. Hello, Heaven. How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. It's good to see you. <laughs> I love that. It's such a cute emote. It's such a cute emote, actually. Question is either I can use the chem fluid and go ahead and get some more like handgun ammo, or I could use the chem fluid and get some more flamethrower ammo, or I could just like save it in general. I mean, I do have the strong one as well, so I can save the strong for the heals. So I think we do take the chem flu uh, fluid for at least basic pistol ammo. So yeah, burn everything, arson. This is uh, this is not a time. This is not a time for this influence. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, we're we the majority of the game at least, so it's good. I'm not trying to take any of my uh, new game plus stuff unless like I really need to, which I'm not at the point where I, I could say I have to. It's just more or less like I just need to like get better. Yeah. Interesting choice of name. It is. It truly is. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> <laughs> I do have enhanced handgun ammo too. I forgot about that. But I don't want to use that either. I mean, I, I bring it along for now, but I don't think it's something I use. Uh, we, we just toss that down there for now. Maybe it's because I have two house fires. I real coworkers made jokes. I lived it. <laughs> it's fucking horrible, I tell ya. Okay, we got about 30 seconds on ads. So that's done. Um, I think I got basically everything I'm gonna need for now. I think. Out of me. Take the pick. I this. But I know there's uh like three DLCs for this. You put one of these plays uh one guy, another one you kind of do like the pre Baker outbreak, and then the last one is um in relation to Endgame. So. Welcome back for the ads, everybody. If you got hit with those and whatnot, um, we sorted out my inventory some, things like that. So, here we go. I'm bringing my flamethrower along, even though I hate using it. Um, it's it's gonna be necessary though, because I'm living on ammo at the moment. So, choose the flame, sometimes it chooses you. This is this is true, actually. They're actually kind of real. Oh, DLC? Yes, there is DLC for this game. There is DLC for this game. So, um, at the end of the main game for this, some events kind of happened that went unanswered. So, uh, they made DLC for this to kind of answer those events. I haven't played it without DLC. Apparently so. It's after you finish uh, the main game. Uh, they highly recommend you check out the DLC. Uh, I don't know. You know what? We're just good. Alright, we're good. It's good. It's safe. Like the DLC doesn't have anything to like tie into for like main game wise. It's um it's only after the post game. Um otherwise you'll you'll spoil yourself. It doesn't affect like items or anything. So finish it in the main game in the hardest mode. I mean I have two. It's great. It's a journey. Uh save again. Alright, let's just see if I can take this next section without yeah. it try speed running. I, mean, I have a speed run in hardest mode. Um, I think hardest mode, I think I beat like a five and a half hours, I think. I don't remember. Still. Uh, why am I backtracking? I'm not supposed to backtrack. I'm going the wrong way. This game is probably a fun speed run, I won't lie. Death count keeps rising. Oh, for real. It's. This game is a pain for sure on the hardest difficulty. Like, if I didn't have the infinite ammo for it, I don't know if I'd be able to do it, for real. <sighs> It was rough. Alright, let's see. I, I'm not trusting these boxes. I still can't trust them. Infinite ammo? Yes, there is infinite ammo. I have no infinite ammo? I don't remember how to unlock it. I don't remember the unlock criteria. I'm pretty sure it was in relation to something. I forget. I 
purple or blood needs to be up or not. Alright, that's a first aid bed. That's good. I need a battery here, don't I? What the battery? I've been doing it the hard way. I've been fighting ammo. Yeah, um, generally, I will be honest. I'm one of those players, like, I don't mind doing it for the challenge and whatnot. Doing it for the memes and things like that. I do want to blow up. Fucking do it. Anyways. I don't mind doing it for the challenge and stuff like that, but when it comes to the hardest difficulty of a game, if I have any sort of like leverage to kind of give me an advantage a bit, um, to help balance out the difficulty, I take it. So something like infinite ammo, if I had to play through a madhouse difficulty, I'm using infinite ammo because things become bullet sponges is my reason. Uh, when an enemy is a bullet sponge, it is not fun to me. So, so my way of contradicting that is um, by having infinite ammo to access myself. Even drop. <laughs> <laughs> this is fair. This is fine. This is fair. And girls, I hate this guy. We have rules. Well, I picked the hard right? <laughs> I'm just saying. Fuck you too. Let's, the game's gotta at least be enjoyable for me to enjoy, you know? Because if it's not enjoyable to me, what's the point? Can you imagine me just having knife only? Let me tell you once again, I'm done. Because I had to beat the game with knife only. It's uh it's an experience. It's not something I recommend. 100 percent It's rough. Ooh, the enhanced ammo took place. Nice. Sounds good. I forgot he close up. Fake man down! Fake man down! Fake man down! Fake man down. <laughs> so, uh, what is your saying? Ammo? That, that's a different story. That's a different story. I can enjoy the game to be able to do that. Like, I'm already kind of hitting that point now. I'm hitting that wall now where I'm like scarce for ammo and I'm losing my sanity a bit trying to make things work. <laughs> but it's another thing like when you're trying to scrape for ammo and it's a bullet sponge you're dealing with. That's a whole other happening for me, once again. This way opens. I'm already having schizophrenia because of <laughs> I believe it too. Alright, I got some supplements. That's healthy. I tell you. Some kind of fluid. Um, I could go ahead and make a first aid here. I think I really should, but I'm not gonna. Otherwise, this is Clancy, guys. 1408. You're next. <clears throat> yeah, you guys remember the happy birthday clip? This is Clancy. At least what's left of them. We're running around finding ammo. When I see ammo, the ammo's gone. The ammo's not even real. This is, this is true, actually. Alright, so I gotta delve every day here, because this is how he wants to play his little game. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying, is uh, if you look at the top of my list, actually, the Albert is actually like a Magnum or something. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Albert is actually like a... Uh, it is a handgun, okay, but it is like a very strong handgun. Uh, I have the Secrets of Defense, I also have the Essence of Defense. I have the infinite ammo, I got the walking shoes, I got the circular saw, I got the x-ray glasses, like, I got it all. The circular saw is definitely worth it, though, I'm just saying. Uh, you have to beat the game knife only, I believe, in order to unlock it, but it is worth it. I love the circular saw. Like, when I just want to beam around on the game, that's what it is. Uh, that's what I use.
Is Arson Assassin still here? He might be. Arson, he's still around? <laughs> Day. I guess. <laughs> and off he goes to do adventures. That's me early with the knife and I <laughs> lost my who city out. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what I did it. I speed ran the game with the knife when I did it, of course. Yeah, All I know what this game is. Kiss my ass. Ethan, language. There are children in the building. Somewhere. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I'm not sure anymore. No, that's fucking hilarious. Um, anyways. Maybe I got schizophrenia? He does. He does. So what you do... is because we played the happy birthday clip, we know what this is. Light our candle one more time. Wait, this is like the third time I take a lit my candle. Jesus. We want to put this on here. Happy fucking birthday! Got a light. Bob. Unless you have any more surprises up your sleeve, I suggest oh. you. <laughs> now that would be telling, Ethan. And I don't do spoilers. Dick. Got the D series head. Finally. So now, um, this is the part where I'm gonna get everything back out. Take our G17 handgun. We're gonna take our M37 shotgun. Uh, we might as well bring the burner. Why not? Bring a burner fluid. We'll bring our first aid kit. We're gonna have to bring a knife too. Love it when people respect the no spoilers rules. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Despite how much I hate Lucas, I do have to agree. <laughs> uh, I am gonna need to crank. I know this much. I 
have a shotgun ammo? I thought I had shotgun ammo. I guess I'm out. I am gonna need some more handgun ammo. So we're gonna have to use more tough boots. Get some more handgun ammo. To put away to supplement the ammo for sale. I believe I can. Can I? Oh, I guess it's already loaded. Okay. Well, anyways. Allow me to switch these two. Switch these two. And I think we're good. I'm gonna stop speed running for now. This is fair. This is fair. Technically, um, I do have the serum stuff. I can actually. Not the serums. I forgot I those two. Just arm. Ouch! Why are you bonking me? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just trying to save my uh, my ex-wife because little does she know we're getting a divorce. Um, anyways. Chocolate chills. Let's go. Not you. It clearly says you did it. I wasn't looking, but I think you did. I think you reached the one. I'll give you over here. It's kind of rude. Okay, so this is where I need the crank. I'll be honest, I only played the, the, uh, the DLC once. I haven't played it all that much, but yeah. Ouch! Hello! Why are you bonking me now? I'm coming, Why you guys be yeah. mean? I have done nothing wrong. You started this. You started this report. You did everything wrong, clearly. It shows. It's <laughs> it was them! I knew it. I knew it. See? See, even even Bello said it was you. I knew it. I knew it all along. I knew I couldn't trust you. And to think I could trust you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, said Arson! <laughs> nah, Arson's a hobby. He would never. Ain't no way. He made me do that? I, I don't believe this. I think you're trying to frame Arson. That's not what I wanted, but alright. It's like I'm wasting no hang on ammo. What the crank did? Crank this shit up! He's gonna burn my house? I don't, I don't think he would. I don't think he would. You're still alive. Yeah, I, I see there was one. I didn't see there was two. Ouch. That hurts. You really just believe me? Um, I'm not. I don't buy this. I'm sorry. I can't. You wanna, do you wanna explain this? It's a suspicious looking phone you got there. Explain yourself, please. See the assassin who's or someone who assassinates all of this? The whole thing, never know. Fucking four legged bitches out of here. Fucker! I don't think I have any heals and I don't. Uh, I don't think I have any big heals. So Sassy uses Arson Bell. I don't know this. I, I can't confirm anything, just saying. Oh, hey, goodness, we're in here. 
Good ammo. Let's go. Psycho stimulants. Let's go. Flame rounds. Oh, my God. shotgun shells. Herb. Uh, we need strong influence. All that. What for I see? <laughs> So it's at. Think I'm okay in the rest for now. Fluid inserted. Okay, I was gonna say damn. Oh, can't fluid inserted herb. No, I didn't. Three is good. Uh, I'm just gonna use this now. <sighs> what? What? Why do I have the phone? Well, this is my tavern. This is my humble tavern. You see, you guys were borrowing my phone. I'm just saying. Um, anyways, this is my humble tavern. I guess I suppose I could look at the call history here and like kind of see what's going on here, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's a, that's a lot of work for me to have to do, and I don't know. Well, you see, Arson's a good friend of mine. I'm just saying. You know. Yeah. Chat, I didn't save my game real quick. <laughs> I just go do that. A likely story! Oh, it's true. Say it about Target. <laughs> target who? Uh, I don't know who's target. Who are we targeting? What? All I know is I'm about to say hi to my best friend Jack again. Zoe. Zoe. Not right. now. We don't have the time. Do you have both ingredients? Right here. There should be enough, right? If we make them fast enough, my father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Good. There's enough for two. Mia! So after we make the serum, what's next? There's a boat outside. We'll take it through the swamp. But now the vessel get very far without the serum. Hey! One of those is mine. I was gonna say, I think the game crashed, but no, it didn't. Got close! Yeah, you guys ever been a time when Jack was just a pair of legs? Yeah, me too. Me too. I think he was kind of cuter that way, I won't lie. This is getting old, Jack. Fucking like who, Jack? This is Jack. All the above? That's crazy. Side. 
Remote room, need to see my burnt house. This is true. Margaret. Margaret's gone, Jack. I'm sorry. I don't know how to break that to you, buddy. Something like that. The fuck? I'm a wholesome temper. I'm trying to save my ex-wife so I make him divorce her. Still, Jack, you can forget it. So far, this seems like a very bold thing to do. Right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Jack, language. with arches in his name. Problem. 
I had no ammo. <laughs> I had no fucking ammo. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Do I see? Yes. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't in the first place. Bitch! Burn my house. I did not! Lurkay, thank you for the Lurkay star. I appreciate it, buddy. Say that? I mean, they were paid to? <laughs> they were paid to say such things? They were bribed? I 
right, here we go. He had stage! I think the play is I saved my enhanced ammo for my handgun and I used that on that. It's been a hot minute. This fight is uh, interesting. This is getting old, Jack. Uh, I did kill your wife, Jack. I'm sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. What a confession, Chad. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but thank you for the 50 babies as well. That must be awesome. It did too. <laughs> Jack, where are you going? I don't want to play Chase and Jack.
Well, there you go. We're gonna go get my uh, Ace of the Chuck Stone. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy the archipelago. Hope it goes well for you. I appreciate you having fun and stopping by. Alright, that should be the last one. Now you should uh, enter final phase now. That was great. Change your items here, chat. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm doing it the sissy way. We're, we're doing it the sissy way. Only item to take is oh. the ammo. Oh. I don't want to be stuck on this fight all day. And, um, we're running a little short on time here, so we're already hitting this fight. Uh, there's still a little more contact with this. So. It's not like this is the end here. There's still more to go. But we're getting there. This is getting old, Jack. Damn it. Oh, there you go. Didn't need it there anyway, I guess. up here but like I think I should be <laughs> walk away here unfortunately God. that's the one downside about this fight it's just a hitbox it's just pretty ass
Fucker! Bitch! <laughs> There's one more I haven't hit yet, but I don't know where it is. Never fucking find it. That's butt. Excuse me, Jack, that's not your butt. Goodness, that's horrible. Now, I've seen everything. <laughs> I've seen everything. Zoe! Ethan, this way. <laughs> <laughs> There's a serum on him! You, you want me to cure him? Oh, that was horrible. What did I tell you? I had to use one of them. There's only one left. There's only one left? There can't just be one left. What the hell are we gonna do now? In this case, we gotta cure Bia because <gasps> story. It's fine. It was foolish thinking I could escape. But Zoe... Go! Both of you, just go! Come with us. I'm, I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently I belong here. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be no. anyone left to help! <laughs> this is why they added DLC as well. It's because, like, nobody really knew what happened to Zoe after this. So one of the DLCs kind of goes over that, the other one goes over like the end game here. It's quite interesting. But there is also two different endings in case you didn't know that. Um, if you cure Zoe, a different ending happens. Which is fucking wild. <laughs> The real question is, do I use infinite ammo through this last part, or do I just, like, Ethan? tough it out? That's my question. Thank you. Who the hell else was I gonna choose? Ethan. But sorry! <laughs> I know. I know, but sorry. <laughs> Mia, 
I know you've been through a lot. I'm just saying, there's more that happens with Zoe than what meets the eye here. I'm just saying. You had something to do with all this, didn't you? Look, I just want to know the truth. Ethan, I honestly don't remember. Try. <laughs> Is that the boat? How the fuck did that get here? You're okay. What the hell was that? What the fuck? What is that? What is that? And just like that. God. Mommy. <laughs> this way. Oh. It's crazy. Guys, we have like a whole odd soul change here. Instead of being Ethan now, we are now Mia. Squat. How? Oh. Ethan? I still love how, like, we never saw his face at all, either. It's hilarious. That's just, like, one of the big things that was always mentioned. It's like, oh, we never get to see his face. Of course, there is a little Adrian's mods now to, like, be able to allow it and shit. But, you know, back in the day, you never did. <laughs> Hi, Mercury. Welcome in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great. We just eat them, become Mia, right? Is that it? It's just how it is, actually. good how is you i'm doing pretty fantastic we're getting towards the end of resident evil 7 here and then we're probably gonna end up reading it out because uh we're gonna be playing some mario kart 8 later on somebody else's stream uh i won't be streaming my side of it but it will be uh within their pr perspective of it it's gonna be a lot of fun but we're gonna be celebrating fat bear charity week so it's gonna be exciting and fun I'm looking forward to it but tomorrow uh i got some big plans tomorrow don't know what time i'm starting at tomorrow but I'll find it out later. <laughs> I just know tomorrow shit is about to go down. It's gonna be great. I'm trying to get up to this next section before the next ad break. It's like I need to rest anyway. So it's a good good point to pause it for a moment once we get there. I don't think they got out. <laughs> Pretty sure there's like anti coins or something down here, but I don't know. It's not important right now. That's 
another thing I truly hated was like how creepy this was. Crew register, Captain Ed Carlo, Chief Engineer Paul Fitzgerald, First Officer Giovanni Finetti, Second Officer Clark C. Walsh, Mechanic Dwayne Chalmers, Communications Technician Jim Stockman, Physician Gerald Waddle. Interesting. Body! Aw, oh, that wasn't much of a jump scare. He's supposed to fall! No, he's not even supposed to fall. He's supposed to be in there. Oh, that's a that's a, that's a horrible jump scare. Oh my god. He's a body even even do the thing right. And it's all you're good for is just be dead. Uh, anyways. <laughs> this guy's dead. This little place, what the hell? LNG tanker Annabelle. Built 1987, dead weight tonnage 71,000, late 948 feet. 948 feet. That's a big, big ship, I'm just saying. Settle down, little girl. Settle down. That's fucking wild. Are you remembering? I am. What? What are you? <laughs> Creepy fucking little girl. <laughs> Creepy little girl, you'll be. Uh, is this a ladder? Yeah, it's a it is a ladder. Okay, I couldn't remember. <laughs> Strange bottle that you found in your pocket after we give at the Baker State. It's probably important. Alright, chat, I'm gonna pause you for a minute, because uh, I gotta use your restroom. And also, we gotta run an ad break. Three minutes worth of ads are ran every hour, just so we can save more pre rolls. Right, but it's just coming in, of course, so this way you don't miss any content. Um, in the meantime, you can stretch out, get some food, grab a little snack, whatever you wanna do. We're almost done with this game, I will tell you that now, so we are getting towards the end. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited, honestly. But thank you for checking it out. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have been enjoying. Um, after this, uh, next, probably, I want to say probably Sunday. Next week, Sunday is probably when I'll run through like the DLC for this game. Uh, DLC is not as long, but uh, it's content nonetheless. And after that, we'll probably welcome. How was your stream? What were you all to? Play some Terraria? I want to do a lot of the voices that I can do on that on the same format of the video like an indian voice could you imagine saying that like all you gotta do is go to your man and give him that good old to walk to to be able to do it <laughs> we imagine that <laughs> see it's hilarious isn't it <laughs> no, it's like all the recruits like that now just a clip playing, but hello Raiders! Oh, Welcome bro. in everybody! How this you guys guy doing? stinks! <laughs> How was your stream, Dyer? What we all up to on Terraria? How'd it go for you? But welcome in Raiders, for those who don't know me, which is likely all you. Uh, my name is Icy Motrider. I'm a polar bear VTuber. I'm also your favorite polar bear tender here. Get yourself a nice, cozy drink, of course. If you have to rate around, I completely understand. Please do take care of yourself. So, uh, extra care is more important than everything. Uh, we do anonymous follows here as well, so thank you so much for the follow as well. As a better two evils, that is... This is true. <laughs> hmm. Alright, um, uh, listen, I'll, I'll make a deal, Dyer. I'll do an Indian intro for you guys. Ah, oh, no, look, I mean, so that point is that... Um, 
Welcome to the finest best happened here. Uh, we, we serve all sorts of cozy drinks. This right here is my good friend, I say Motoretta, and his little pet there, a snowballer. You, you guys are more than welcome to get cozy. If I don't match your vibes, I'm cozy. I'm more than welcome to rain and run. I completely understand. I'll get some sleep, go do so. Uh, things like that. But please, stay tuned for that content. I swear, I'm not the only person here. Um, I see he's a pretty good fellow, and uh, he's playing some Resident Evil 7 right now. So, yes, yes, you guys are lots of fun. Um, anyways. <laughs> But fine, I didn't sleep, so I thought I might as well introduce others. Uh, this is fair. This is fair, honestly. Yeah, so currently, uh, we're playing through the full game of Resident Evil 7 at the moment. We are towards the end of it. Hi, Umbrai, how you doing? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you uh, you just didn't catch the tail end of my Indian intro. It's horrible. But yeah, we're on the boat now for Resident Evil 7. Um, I'm talking about next week. We're probably going to do DLC for this game, and then we'll play 8 after that. But otherwise, uh, I'm generally a retro game steamer. So, uh, I, I swear I can talk. <laughs> Who's talking to you? You were the bear fox, Steve? <laughs> it, it's me. It's me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyways. I know both of our mouths move. Uh, that's just the way it's rigged. So, I apologize. Let me take a breath real quick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I gotta peek on the Discord thing on a second. Ah, that's why. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, I know what that's about. Okay, yep, anyways. You doing well? That is great. <laughs> great to hear. Yes, I'm generally a retro gaming streamer is what I am. Uh, currently, what my idea is now is uh, we're currently playing through the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, the first Zelda game we're playing is Zelda Ocarina of Time. So currently, I'm going through that. We're playing that during the week is what it is. I don't really have set days at this moment, but I'm working on that. Um, it's just based on my work schedule and stuff because, yeah. ADHD, ADD, go burr. And like when I get off work, sometimes I'm too tired. So yeah. But you're going to some rest, have some fun. All right. Enjoy your rest. Sleep well. I completely understand. Thank you so much for the raid as well. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you smell like a baka. Hey, yo. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, here are my weekends. What I consider to be my weekends is Sunday, Mondays. I'm basically going to be picking up like a, a series that I can basically kind of finish like in one day. So whether it's like a game or series, it's like with the one um when I can finish within like a day or two. So these are games that are gonna be like I um I spend a lot more times on these streams doing, and I try to play through the full thing. And uh, for the month of October, I decided to do Resident Evil content. So that's why we were playing Resident Evil Seven. Uh, the Polar Pops ended up deciding that they wanted to see Resident Evil Seven before any of the others. So I'm okay with this because this one is a lot more scary to me. It is one I have played many a times, but it is still a scary game, and <laughs> nonetheless, to some. But yes. Otherwise, uh, I plan to play Resident Evil 8 after this one as well. Uh, because mainly I have to do the DLC for Resident Evil 8 as well. I still have not actually played Rose's DLC, so. But yeah, there we are with that. But 7 is what I have like spent a lot of time into. Uh, I don't go back down here, that's right. I can't remember like, where they're at. Alright, so we're here. Uh -huh. Yep, yep, you drop down. Uh -huh. And just gonna take that and just gonna run. And, and uh, yep. Pardon me. Beard! Alright, um, so I was trying to decide do I use infinite ammo for this select section or do I put it away? So, chat, what is your thoughts? This is, uh, this is a real question. Because for the Jack boss fight, I end up using infinite ammo because um, I, I end up dying a couple times on there. And I'm like, this fight's difficult towards the end of it, so I felt like it was only fair to me. I am. Watch it. What? You, you Why? watch it. You watch need it, kid. to remember, so we can be a family. That's a little shit, I swear. All right, pop into the tape. You need to remember, so we can be a family. All right, this is back in 2014. Oh my god. Alan, you're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. <sighs> Ah, 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 ah. But 
it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. <coughs> but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. <laughs> yeah, it is your fault. She Dumbass. Didn't you. <laughs> Anyways. It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue samples. Tissue sample. You find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie. Where are you? Where are you? Special Operations Division. Director Alan Droney and caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. Yeah, you know, just like straight up kill the kid. I don't support this behavior, by the way. But uh, this is what I was talking about in regards to like, giving ammo and everything. So because like I beat the game in all sorts of various ways and done all sorts of various things, I get all this cool stuff. We get some uh, very powerful handguns, really good. We get two things of defense that uh, help us take less damage when we block. We get walking shoes, which is not the same as running shoes. You just move faster when you're walking, but you're not running. We have a circular saw, which is uh, by far one of my favorite melee weapons in the game. Uh, we have the x-ray glasses that allows me to like basically kind of see where everything is, through walls and stuff. Uh, and then infinite ammo, of course, which is self-explanatory. Which, uh, I think I'm gonna go without infinite ammo for now, we'll see, uh, we'll see what we do. Well, like I said, I pulled out the infinite ammo for, for, uh, the jack fight, because I kept getting towards the jack fight, uh, towards the end of it, and I kept running out of ammo. <laughs> so. Close. Yes. Yeah, speaking of which, we're gonna pause here for a second, because I did a goofy, and I forgot to check if I'm following Umbrai. And you know what? I'm not following Umbrai. You know what that means, chat? That means you guys should be following Umbrai as well. So Umbrai is uh, somebody I was introduced to by Celesta. So Celesta is one of my bots, for those who don't know. And uh, Umbrai is a great person I've heard, so please do give them some love, check them out. I'm gonna give you that special shout out too, you know. But yes, show them some love for us. And Umbrai, if you have any clips you'd love to play, you are more than welcome to. Just saying. But enjoy my follow. Um, anyways. Alright, um, I don't have anything about that moment. Well, it's not open for this, uh, I don't know what you got to be. She's vomiting. Damn, I'll have to reset. I have to reset. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right, we need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Well, it seems like you rapidly tap the button and expect the elevator to faster. Come on, come on, where's the elevator? Come on, I need it here just like yesterday! Oh my god. Excuse me. Occupied. Get your own elevator, please. We 
treasure chest. Unfortunately, I'm playing myself here because I have no heals right now. I have no way of making heals. At least at this time. Oh, got her. Nice. Um. Technically. No? I thought I could combine those two together. I guess not. Alright, we got some more machine gun ammo. That's a good sign. Those are handy, let me tell you. Handy if you know how to use them. Just someone. Like As I mentioned, I somewhat do. I never said I did. I said somewhat. <laughs> Oh, a lot. Ten fluid. Yes, we're so back. Yes. Yeah, heal. Pour that all over my arm. That's the way I like it. Right, um, because this is gonna drive me nuts if I don't fix it. Um, I want that like that. So, uh, actually, I want this like that. It's better. Uh, can't use it. Oh, I can't. I can't, I can't use this. Press a corrosive into a lock, and uh, there you go. Simple as that. Are you mad at me, Mommy? No, Evie, I I'm not mad. Wait, what did you call me? I don't want to live at the lab anymore. I want a house, and I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie, I'll be your mommy. Just, just come back with me, right now, okay? Where are you, Evie? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <coughs> are you okay? You just worry about getting up from the back. Go out to die there. I wasn't about to attempt to, okay? <laughs> Stuff we pack up, you know. So say that I ever go in here, Tucky. Where's the tricky? This is 
exactly where I should be with no bombing, but I'm not wasting ammo instead. Watching the hatch, I'm like, what's coming down? When's it coming down? Where is it? Thanks for taking off for now. Thanks for the plug. You be pretty stream. I see. Please take care of yourself. I will. Thank you so much for being here, Mary. Enjoy yourself. If you did happen to want to see the rest of it, it will be up on my YouTube. So uh, don't fret. No, don't fret. I post my vods to my YouTube. Explanation point YT if you want to check it out, of course. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. It's something I'm starting to wrinkle to get into, sort of. Damn it. Alan? Alan, where the hell are you? Sad thing is, like, I need these herbs at the moment, so. Is there no save point here? I thought you could save here. Can't have a modern flashlight, but motherfucker got the Apple Watch thingy for real. This is 2014 now. Just to specify, right, dude, this is 2014. We're not in 2017 now. We're in a 2014 flashback. <laughs> Up to somebody's channel, it's creepy. That's gonna hurt. I'll be seriously stuck over here. Away. <laughs> and he just despawns anyway. That's hilarious. So where'd all we go? I'm not fucking here anymore. The fuck? All right. <laughs> Keep your secrets down. You wanna blow too? Fuck out of here. That bullshit.
perhaps the most memorable part of the game. How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, listen. I didn't call you that. She's Evie. trying to mean, take control. You have to fight her. Oh, you done fucked up. You fucked up, my man. You don't call her a little bitch. Evelyn, stop. Stop right now. Alan, you good buddy? Look at that face. I don't know what that face represents, but it's a face of something. What was we got this iconic part? shouldn't have all I can say is that if you get this stay away forget that you ever knew me have a good life it pains her to say that We'll be together forever. Do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> you fucking little girl. It's a fucked up shit. Anyways. Concerts have taken. This is a uh, electrox disrupt subject. I can't fuck her. Yeah, place the sample. It's like it is. Otherwise, this is Evelyn tissue samples. A small bottle containing tissue samples from Evelyn.
Oh yeah, we go back to our shitty flashlight now. Hehe. <laughs> fluid! Broken. Yeah, that laptop is fucked. Fuck my guy. Uh, Darty Crow should get in there. I don't even know if I could defend myself. What? Uh, we didn't come through it. Could make some ammo. <laughs> Not it's gonna do me well, but we could make some ammo. Look at the big muscles me has got! Oh my god! Maybe it still works. Check the cameras. Third floor. Third floor. Third floor. I mean, you can see everywhere it just was. Ethan. This too. This is my boy Ethan. I hope I make it in time. Shit, that's me. That's Ethan. Okay. It's just icy, know. but he says Ethan here. That's me though. <laughs> Excuse me. Stop it, Evelyn. Fucking hallucinations. Where is she? Hold on a second here. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Allergies are fucking bad, I tell you. It's like that time of day for me. Uh, got a remote bomb. Hey, that's a good, good little bit of self-defense. We'll make it work. I'll make it work somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to. <laughs> it's good enough for one little guy, I suppose. Now, if I get two remote bombs, I think I'd be in a better state. Um, that's not, that's supplements. That's not remote bombs, but all right. Don't want to go that way yet. All like loops around. Ah, the captain's cabin. <laughs> got the ship map. Got the low grinch. And then we need a key in order to get our guns. So we can't brute force that open, apparently. <laughs> we. Not a little bit of gravity can't handle, you know. Step there. What's this at? Like, oh, like these? Thank you. Lewis, the cable's completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to use it to fix something the third floor sick bay. We're gonna have to go to ask Dr. Waddle for it. I'm needed down in the number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get to stay working. Dwayne. I forget we're gonna go up or down. I think we're up split. <laughs> Got a knife. Plenty of self-defense with this. Ah, there's that save point. It's that same note for the floor. That's corrosive here. We can access all my items here. Not that it's many, but it's items. Um, I think I put that away for now. I think I put the way to handgun ammo for now. Um, <laughs> oh, 
that's nice. Love it when enemy just disappears. First one's blocked off, is it? No, wait, is it? <clears throat> I'll leave that. <laughs> I think that's the way I had access it through the elevator. But this would lead me up to the third floor, technically, which is, um, that's what I do. I, I do, but I don't. Hey, buddy. Slice you up, baby! So I slice you a little bitch ass up. That's it, I just don't remember where to get the key for uh, the captain. Captain's locker. That's a good one. This part I do kind of have an herb here. Corrosive out here. Nice. Alright, so we got plenty of corrosive, but don't have to be using this. That's the I gotta make the first save is what I gotta do, sadly. Hmm. Alright, so this is our last save that alright, I might as well go ahead and make a first save so I have it. Blah blah blah. I don't really need all that cruise. I mean I do, but I don't. I mean it's not something. Corrosive will give me more ammo, is what it is. So, just gotta start at least twice. At least three times, actually. Just twice. Get all the corrosive. Uh, I got the herb. As I can. Alright, I had this Willy. Ouch! That would actually hurt. Bitch! God damn, I'm so low on health. And I even used my med kit. It's even worse. Man, it sucked. We're on second floor. That's how you get up to the third floor. That's what that is. Um, which is where one guy is. Alright, no, no, this is it. Nope, no, no. Not fucking dealing with you right now. Bitch! Fucking eat shit! Not dealing with you. I'm looking for a goddamn key. It's kind of fluid. It's not a key, but I'll take it. Sixteen years since the Nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. Boy, yeah, of course they are. Fuck. 
Something like that, like uh, Raccoon City, you can't really shake off. I'm just saying. Just saying. Hmm. Okay, there's some gunpowder. I'll tell you. All right, Captain's Cabin Locker. There we go. That's what I needed. It's a long climb. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Not deal with you right now. Oh, uh, that's sad. Nobody's all occupied. Did that just kill it instantly? I hate it here. Every other time I never did, but this time I did. So yeah, I think I go second floor for now to hit the save real quick, just so I have done it in my pocket. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this part. This part I can see me too. Nice. This is where um, that one door is, and um, I remember what comes up now. That's what this one's The ship is a wreck. Herb, I can go ahead, like make peel, but I don't. I don't have any robo bombs either. This is horrible. Here's a robo bomb.
horribly as expected. I have like no ammo for this guy. Now he dies. I hate it. I'm literally on the verge of death, and now he dies. Alright, power cable acquired. At what cost? Everything. Literally everything. Uh, there's no herbs or anything here? Yeah. We're good, chat. We're just limping our way out of here. Fucking on the verge of death. One hit, like, one sneeze could kill me at this point. My goodness. That's how bad it is. Can I use a gross on this technically? Nope, I have to use a lot pick. Yeah, it's a bullshit. I'm just wondering, is this fall gonna kill me? Nah, well, it's just like fall. Okay. We go ahead and get some power. Now we need a fuse, right? I have nothing else I can use. Like, seriously? I'll take this gunpowder and handgun ammo. What good is that gonna fucking do me, man? This ain't gonna do me shit. I'll keep the, the chem fluid on me for now. Man. <laughs> man, it's horrible. But bright side is we're about halfway through Mia's section, at least, so that's the bright side. for us. At least they could let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap at the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Was that all in my head? I woke up at 1930. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was a lot go There was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going out to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me. Huge. Shark like teeth snapping into the straw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaky as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures looking at the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. That's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. Rest in peace, my man. You, uh, did well for your country. First aid! Thank fucking goodness. Oh, uh, Lord. Some sort of life vest. Amazon River Cruise Guide, Beauty the Black Lagoon. Hang on, Ammo. Let me this shit. Dear Janet, Hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will I pass by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although there's one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. It must be hard up. I tried talking to a little girl earlier, earlier and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now I think about it, 
I can't decide you didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Miss you. Love, Jim. Aw, oh, it's so sweet. Don't see me! Naughty! Naughty kid, you don't see me! Chatty saw me. <laughs> God, four legged bolts are horrible, I tell you. This part of jungle is just bad to me. Because you know I was in here, it's all my questions. <laughs> Bitch, I'm about to get out of your level fight. Fuck that, man. Fuck this guy. Seriously. And the game's just like, oh, by the way, you can, uh, you can play the remote bomb if you grapple him. And it's like, motherfucker, I got no fucking remote bombs. You think I would have did that by now if I did? Come on now. Take me for a fucking idiot. You're level now, bitch. Fuck you. I hate this guy. <laughs> right, let's go down this way and see what's over here, I suppose. There's a fucking save room in here! I hate it. And you give me a fucking hang! I- I seriously hate it here. Seriously fucking hate it here. Man, I tell you. Fucking game sometimes. working now. Now we're supposed to go to the bottom, technically. Oh my goodness. He's waiting. Fuck up, I believe. Finally get some machine gun ammo, man. Fuck. Maybe a first seat or something. Herb, that works. Shit. 
Thank fucking goodness. Especially if I'm about to deal with a four leg fuck like this. Yeah, I'm taking the. the Yeah, we are gonna have to run uh, one last ad break here in a few. Uh, I'm trying to get up to eat at least before I do it, if I'm able to. So this way, I don't have much content to cover. But... Ethan. 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 Jack! Don't want my ass again, please! Shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? <sighs> she infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. <sighs> I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... Uh, she forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan, free my family, please. Stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. For what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember?
I won't be able to resist for much longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. No. No. Mia! No! Alright, chat, we gotta run three minutes worth of ads and whatnot, but uh, before you do, obviously, I'm gonna st stand up, stretch out, things like that, grab a little snack if you need to. This is the final ad break of the stream and the final stretch of the game as well, so please do take care of yourselves, and uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all hanging out, and thank you for being here. But those of you who are subbed, you're more than welcome to hang out, of course. So. And actually, fun fact, chat, uh, now that the ads are going and stuff, that's... <laughs> A little fun fact for you is actually, at that very specific cutscene, if you actually save Zoe instead of Mia, when Mia's looking at you through the window there, Evelyn actually kills her. Uh, that's what happens in the other ending. So, a little bit of a spoiler there, in case you wanted to hear, but I'm not going to play through it again, so, I'm sorry. Sorry in advance. But, yeah. Oh, it's just a good stretch, I'm telling you. <laughs> but, yeah. And Ryan, if you think that's ironic, it gets better. Just tell you, buddy. Just saying. Just you wait. <laughs> just you fucking wait. <sighs> oh, man. I got something on my chair. Didn't notice. Didn't notice until now. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Got tissues. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so excited to play Fields. It's just. Like, this game is, like, one of, uh, it's not one of my favorites, but it's a good one that I love to do, like, just in one sitting. Especially, like, when you piece everything together, kind of, like, one thing after the other. It, it really, it's really nice. It's really cool, I feel like. I truly, it's really it. <sighs> What's my stats so far? Alright, we're playing a normal. We're only 5 hours, 15 minutes in. It's crazy. 12 restarts. Uh, of course, I already destroyed all this here everywhere. This is over 18 and 18 coins. 32 file files. 47 times I opened up the item box. 29 healing items used. One stabilizer. Three steroids. Man. <laughs> Some stats, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, welcome back for the ads if you got hit with them and whatnot. Thank you so much for sticking through those. It helps support the channel, helps support me, of course. But once again, it's the final stretch of the game. Okay, and, you uh, little excited. bitch. Where the fuck are you? It's all your fault, she says. Now, chat, one thing I want you to know, remember this. This whole event, this whole ship here and everything, was from 2014. Remember that. That's three, we're here three years after this whole event went down. Three years after. Just remember that.
Abercrombie Salt Mine, South New York. February 18th, 1892. There was a collapse in the Patterson Mine. Twad and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stamp is right. The ground there is too unstable. February 19th, 1892. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. Can't wait to go back to the old country. It's fucked up, man. Hmm. So, let's see. Are they watching us from the helicopter? Alpha-1, this is Bravo-1. Do you read? This is Alpha-1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Guys, I got chills down my spot because that first voice. It's my boy, Chris Redfield. He's alive. It's my boy. That was a zero on it. Okay, this one is a 44 bag. Oh, that's because it's already opened. Okay. So yeah, if you had the, the coins to and whatnot, this is where our final stretch is, of course, you can, uh, you have taken the beast things. Alright, let's go. Evelyn's tissue samples. We'll take all the anime, of course. Do I want to use P19? I don't think I want to use P19, honestly. Um, we take a first aid for sure, 100%. Why would you not? Um, a survival knife will be handy. Probably more handy than a regular knife. We'll use... I was gonna say, where the hell is all my guns and shit? I'm just blind. I think I'm just blind. Oh, that's my burner, that's why. Yeah, I'm just blind, that's all. Alright, my handgun, shotgun. Let's take our shotgun ammo. We'll take some handgun ammo, of course. I think we have to have a handgun, technically. Um, is that better, technically? I don't know if that's better. I think we just take it anyway. Uh, just because. MPM handgun. Five ET coins. Sad. I want to take two of these uh, herbs, and then I'm gonna take some of the strong chem fluid, and we're gonna use some of that. Suppose I do have one more slot. I could take uh, the grenade launcher, I guess, and add some flame rounds. So I think that's the play there. Put this. Make sure everything's loaded. Good there. Good there. Um. I think that's the move there. Full health, it looks like. Alright, now uh, we're gonna use a save, and here we go. From the ship to the lab, the whole swamp covers that.
Bruh, are you still alive? Are you both still alive? The fuck you mean? They were all still alive. That's crazy. You're still alive? Brother, man. This is just not a time to be staying alive. I'm just saying. Alright, that's strong head fluid. That's good. Walk that. Okay, good ammo. That's gonna be good. Machine gun ammo. Now I don't need that. I, had, I didn't take any machine gun. Right? I should have, but I, I, I probably should have, but I did. I'll be honest. Alright, push the button. Boop. Boop. Into the mines we go. <laughs> I ain't about to deal with your little ass. You gotta cook for all I care. We got more mines to deal with! Yeah! Er, nice. Ooh, I almost wanted to do that. Uh, since we actually found another herb. Is we actually make another strong. We got some remote bobs. It's actually really good. Uh, we actually moved the knife out and we got remote bobs here. Oh, you're behind me? Shotgun go burr. Let's see what that is. <gasps> I thought it was like a creep reading it. And it's not. I'm a little dumb, that's okay. Check the chills, hell yeah. Take those. So BS pistol only has nine routes of it to 
Jesus. I just, I just saw it as I walked into it. I do it every fucking time too. Literally every time. Yeah, that was a bomb. Trust your friends. Set Friday, January 16, 2015, 12:42 a.m. Thanks to you guys, spent about a week since my head's been clear back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mom and Dad are still totally under though. I was wondering, is this whole quote unquote family obsession stuff that you guys programmed into her? It's kinda of fucked up. Friday, November 4th, 2015, 2 10 a.m. That bitch Mia is still somewhere between Vilala Land and reality. <sighs> She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Elva would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bio weapon is fucked up. September 1st, 2016. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly. She's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Oh? Oh? <laughs> you know I'm not space? For the steroids? Oh, hell no. I would take steroids. Boop. Easy. Your max health increased. Yes, yes, it did. This report details the symptoms that appear with the bacteria that grows inside of the E series affects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before you leave the E series weaponized assets. Hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co to amputate the limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-Series asset. The subjects start to hear things and experience hallucinations. It soon comes under complete control of the E-Series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage will be extremely difficult. Interesting. Very, very interesting. E necrotoxin E series dose chest. Ten minutes after dose, death. Twelve minutes after dose, cell calcification. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. Interesting. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts from the company's Nexmas, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in MOS with minimal direct contact. Nexmas was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly differ from the conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had that blank, and even blank, blank, organization job chopping at the pit to get on board. The project would never have existed were not for the discovery in blank of blank. The remarkably progressive vicariate evolution fungus that we commonly termed the, the mutamocyte, the fabrication method for each bioweapon was int to introduce the mutamocyte genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The results of organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability for the impractical and faulty. Series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10 year old girl, to ensure ease of blood to give with urban refugee populations. The first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, has proven capable of secreting the mutamocyte, blank, from her tissue at will. 
It is also of note that Apple's media site imposes a profile control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism, but which Evelyn achieves, by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control. Uh, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing and Pseudomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamocyte infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, so the body, blank. What a mouthful. <laughs> Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia to fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal softness and remarkable strength give them an insignificant battlefield potential. Give them significant battlefield potential. Researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing redacted on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore a disposal of infected su subjects, rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to redacted would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E necrotoxin, which redacted even in tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as a theme of mental control? This is just speculation but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for her perceived lack of love and her quarantine upbringing, a parent's love. Sorry, mate, veto power activate, consider it all redacted. <laughs> yeah, you're actually right, my bad. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be reading this in the first place. That's, uh, that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> e necrotoxin destroy cells of any subject based on the E-Series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E-Series assets. Just, the toxin must first be stimulated for use. Do this by placing a sample of E-Series cells into the necrotoxin container. Uh, this right here. It's all fancy. Always. Oh, nice. Special serum for disposing of these here sets of drugs that could destroy the Evelyn if injected into her. <laughs> we gotta find out who Evelyn is and where she is. What she wants. We got some flame rounds, we got some narrow rounds, let's go. I don't think I need the narrow rounds. It's uh, a powerful poison, but I don't think I need it. I think we're good with that bit. Um, I can actually put the survival knife away this time, so we actually don't need that right now. Oh, that's another thing we don't really need. Don't need the machine gun ammo, so I'm not using the machine gun. Uh, I think everything else is good. Everything else should be good. Alright, chat, the final stretch! It can't stand it. I'll take it. Oh, this ain't the way to go.
God, this guy needs to fucking die! Please! Oh my goodness. Jesus. Still standing, man. Jesus. Thank you. Fuck that guy, I tell ya. Please only do that. Hold us uh Simba's Chaos and of course the Demon of Self Wesker. Yeah, Wesker is definitely a lot worse for sure. Simmons so, though, I mean I mean, obviously, when I think of Wesker, I don't think of fucking Jake Wesker. God, who the fuck is that guy? Fucking Wesker's son? No, he's nowhere even close to Wesker. Sorry. I think of, like, when I speak of Wesker, I think Albert Wesker immediately. Just saying. But either way, uh, Simmons, though. I don't think Simmons is that powerful. He is, in a sense, but I don't know. Considering the way they killed him off in Resident Evil 6, I mean, I, I don't follow that. He's kind of shitty. Unless it's basically just saying that it's like resorted to like a, a fucking shit way to kill him off. Level of this nemesis T type. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Nemesis isn't all that powerful. He was, but he wasn't. Jack Baker. Mr. X. I know this dog. Don't worry. I'm sure of it. Verdugo? I don't know who Verdugo is, honestly. But Mr. X was another one. Uh, Mr. X is, like, more of a prototype than Nemesis, though. And even then, like, Nemesis was, like, always had, like, had the big heart on for Jill, which is why I was, like, kind of upset about that. So, I know what his purpose was, I understand that part, but it was just, I don't know. Seems like Nemesis could've did a lot more. Same thing with, like, Mr. X, in a way. But I know, like, Mr. X is, like, the first form of Nemesis, so... However you want to go through <laughs> This is your fault. Where he goes from Why am I saying this? Oh, it's, it's okay. Guy. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, he was another bit of bit of luck. Uh, I didn't really care for. It fucking hurts! 
doesn't want to be my daddy, then he can die. <laughs> now it's mommy's turn to kill you. I'm just saying though, for Evelyn to be above Jack is kind of a shock. Not gonna lie. And the main reason why I say that is because of the fact that <laughs> the fact that Jack comes back so many times afterwards. But I mean, then again, Evelyn did like bless him with a gift. So in a sense, it wasn't all just like his own manpower. So it was like a fucking xenomorph. Yeah, for real though. A human head, but predator mouth, for real. Okay, actually, for. I always get confused with this part. Well, if you're too early, I think that's what it is. Oh, here it is. Did I actually take damage for that? I can't even tell. I don't think I did. Man. Your boy's already hallucinated for the E for real. He is. Where the fuck are you? Tripped this part up, I swear. I'm in pitch black. I don't know where I am. Yeah. That's right. You have to run back this way first, then go up there. <laughs> You're gonna be one of us, and then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Standing up. All right, that's not fucking creepy at all. Jesus, I don't. I don't even think I ever remembered that happening. Oh my god, that's fucking horrible. Scary fucking shit. Thanks. Yeah, this is a part where yes, you are 100% hallucinating. I just remember that data soldier you remember 2014. Why does everyone hate me? Struggle to chick for the movies. Violent. Is 
remember, three years ago, this is, this takes place 2017. 2014, she was that little girl. 2017, she's this old fucking hag. Fucking wild, isn't it? Sometimes, 100%. You're not wrong. <laughs> well, the thing is, Evelyn was actually a power. Uh, she was a bio weapon all along. It's just they they made the bio weapon in the form of a ten year old girl, but she ends up aging rapidly as well because of it. Because she's a bio weapon. She's actually not a real girl. <laughs> Sorry, it's just my leg, it's okay. Face. The fuck. <laughs> Built by small firearms, sorry. I mean, these were like enhanced bullets put into this gun specifically to take her down. So, that's why. So I'll have to get there, you know? They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the bakers. He has bought armor since Redfield is a weaker boater. Oh, that's a Wesker boater? I thought he's a weaker boater! <laughs> but now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing me. 
and now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. But I was gonna say, after the events of Maybe six, for Chris opens. to go on his way to be part of seven and eight, I kind of agree with that. Because the events of six really traumatized Chris for sure. And for him to like want to keep going after, I kind of call BS as well. I'm with you on that. Well, I have a child with a crazier weapon than before. Here goes the bang! Go tell and roadie. Oh, it gives me chills every fucking time. I mean, I feel like in Resident Evil 8 DLC, um, they probably didn't tell in the DLC kind of how Rose became the way she was and all that. I haven't played the DLC though, so I wouldn't know, but I do plan to probably maybe next week, maybe? So, Code Veronica shit? I mean, pretty much, I think I'm sort of pretty kind of like related to it too. It was like Code Veronica. I never played Code Veronica either, so that's another one uh, that I have not played. It's a good one. Yeah, I need to check it out. Like after playing through seven and going to eight, I love the big jump transition things at least. I, I still feel like kind of the same way. Like seven here is after you get through basically the Jack arc. It just kind of like it feels like it kind of speeds off after that in a sense. I don't know. And same thing happens with like RE8. It's after you get past the castle part of RE8, the rest of the game just flies, which I kind of kind of dislike, but it's okay. I see how that lady feels. <laughs> yeah, she hate that. You guys enjoy that one? You hate zombie games? That's funny. I'll just say, after Lady Dimitrescu, the game just like kind of spirals, and it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't live up to the hype. It was a good game, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I still stand by what it said. REA kind of sold because of Lady Dimitrescu. Just saying. Once again, it's not a bad game, it's just one I didn't really enjoy as much as I did like seven and the others. I'm trying to dump scratch for the hype, it is. It's no. I believe I can scratch this. I can't. Go. Vampire Jai 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 Right. And that's the thing though, is like she isn't actually a vampire, but it is like what she's portrayed as. Um, because of it, you know, she takes a lot of boxes for needs for real. For real though. Executive like producer, Chu Tapuchi. Capcom. Dolby, Louisiana, Sunday, June 25th, 2014. Look at that happy little family. Yeah. <laughs> What was that? There was a phone ringing chat. What was it? Oh my god! Um. Uh, anyways, we need Resident Evil. Uh, who was it? Japanese Steamer narrated. I feel like they'd be fucking amazing. But otherwise, only that five hours, fifty minutes. We're through the game. Let's fucking go. Now, uh, basically, kind of what that phone portrays to is uh, this one's all about DLC content. We have the banned footage here. We have not a hero. End of Zoe. Jack's fifty-fifth birthday and uh, extra game. Eat the must die. So banned footage is kind of basically kind of just footage. It just kind of goes on that you're able to play through and experience. So this is before the bakers got taken over. Why are you doing this? <laughs> the pretties my little girl is giving me. It's 
Okay, you have Nightmare. Which is this. So you have to survive some warning. You have Bedroom, which is uh, Escape from Confinement using all your wits. You have 21, which is uh, plays a distant card game, which I have never heard of or played. But yeah, and you got Dodgers. Experience the beginning of the Baker's Tragic Story. So this is like, once again, the beginning of the Baker's Tragic Story. Not a hero is when you play it is uh, Ethan's struggles over, but you're still one last mess to clean up and John falls to Cruz Redfield, the Federated in the fight against bioterrorism. So not a hero kind of explains what happens with Lucas, uh, because obviously we never actually took down Lucas or anything. He ran away after the whole birthday thing. So and then 21 is basically Blackjack. It is. It is. It's this game's version of Blackjack. They kind of do it uniquely, but still. Uh, but basically, not a hero will go into depth on how the what happens to Lucas and all that, and this also kind of sets up the story for how RE8 starts. Um, I will tell you that. So, end of Zoe is um, weeks after not a hero, a new danger has emerged. Jack's brother Joe Baker must face this danger with his bare hit fist and put an end to this family's suffering once and for all. So, end of Zoe is basically obviously uh, because we didn't cure Zoe. Um, somebody goes in there. In this case, Joe, Jack's brother, goes in to go save Zoe. And all that, so. Jack's 15th birthday. He's not interested in presents. It's food he wants, so find him for him sex he can. This just was like a little bonus mini game or something. I don't know. And then Ethan must die is, uh, Ethan will wish to his body. Mommy as you lead him to his death over and over again. This is ultra high difficulty mini game. Yeah, it's like another mini game. But yeah, these are mainly the main three. You technically don't have to do bad footage if you don't want to. That saves a video of domestic violence. I, I really want to say something about End of Zoe, but I can't say anything until I go through it, honestly. Uh, it, it's really hilarious. It's really hilarious. And it kind of portrays the fact of, like, how is Jack, like, still weaker than Evelyn, in a sense. And the band footage is, like, once again, um, if you want to figure out what happened to the Bakers back when, um, Evelyn first arrived and, like, took over him, uh, things like that. That's what band footage is. These two, this paints a picture for Resident Evil 8, and this just tells you what happens to Zoe, so... That's what that is. We'll do those next time, though. Probably next week. This coming next coming Sunday, probably is when I'll play those. But for the time being, thank you all for hanging out. Like that, I farted. It smells like a block of something down the side of the road. It's fucking wild, bro. It's fucking wild. <laughs> yeah, next Sunday is when I'll play those. Um, if you do want to see them, of course. Um, uh, after those, I will probably start. Oh, bro, we'll this guy stinks. That's hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, who we're gonna read into? We are gonna read into somebody that I'm gonna be playing with here in about uh roughly an hour's time, roughly. So they're currently doing a fat bear week, is what it is. We're raising money for charity. Uh, you are more welcome to get involved, help to donate, spread the word, and things like that. We're gonna read into a fellow bear, Uma. So Uma Arthos. Arthos. Yeah. I have a family to leave for me that won't move. It's so bad, man. That's crazy. <laughs> but thank you all for tuning in. If you want to follow me on my Twitter, you're more than welcome to. If you want to join the Discord, you're more than welcome to as well. You come hang out with me. Uh, this coming week, tomorrow, Barry and I have some plans to going on. I'll try to get you guys more informed on that when I can. Uh, just pay attention to the Discord. It'll be announced there, most likely. Otherwise, under the net, the rest of this week, I will have a Zelda stream or two this week. I don't know where but or when, but it will be there. But yes, raid messages, of course, if you are subbed, we have a little sub emote, if you're not, if you're, uh, we have a little heart stare, of course. But I will see y'all in about an hour's time. I won't be streaming my end once again, so do tune into Uma's side. This is Uma's, uh, big thing going on. And I appreciate y'all being here, hanging out with me, and, uh, I hope you guys have a great night. And hopefully you can tune into the collab, because it's going to be fun and chaotic, as it always is. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow, though, if I don't see you later. So, yeah, good night, everybody.